What's up, everybody? It's Tuesday, and this episode is brought to you by Division Street Auto. If you have anything wrong with your vehicle that needs fixing, uh, maybe you don't even know what's wrong with your, your vehicle, take it over to George. Mention this podcast, the J-Squared pod- Podcast, and they'll, they'll give you 10% off the labor. You can give them a call at 401-723-7080. Also, Tops Electric Supply showroom and gallery for any lighting needs they do in-house consultation indoor lighting outdoor lighting pretty much everything lighting um and any anything that you need for electrical supply ask for my man sean over at uh tops showroom and gallery they're at 120 point street in providence or you can give them a call 401-861-0695 this is also brought to you by JW and Sun Construction. They specialize in kitchens, baths, interior finished flooring, siding, decks, and roofs. Pretty much everything construction. If you need to contact them, you can find them on Google or give my friend John a call at 401 487 4134. That's JW and Sun Construction. You can also see our friend Dory over at Olneyville Tire. Hello, Dory. If you need new tires, used tires, maybe you have a screw in your tire, maybe you want a screw on top of tires, go see Dory. (laughs) 401-421-1800. And last but not least, listen, if you're bored at night and you need something to do and you you want a social atmosphere, um, and maybe something to eat. Maybe just hang out, have a drink, hang out with some friends. Check out Donkey Dodgers Poker. Go see my friend Mike Otten. They run every single night at a local pub near you. You can find them on Facebook. That's Donkey Dodgers Poker. All righty, guys, let's go. Time to talk some shit. With the J Squared Podcast. Here we go. What's up, everybody? It's Josh of the J Squared Podcast. Obviously, got my man Jay here with me. What up? Uh, we just want to welcome into the house both members of the Two Stupid Dogs Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> gang, 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 gang. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I know you've heard me raving about Chihuahua. it. You know, Yo, <laughs> check them out. Who are you guys? We got, <laughs> you guys are incriminating here. yourselves. Freddy. <laughs> oh, Freddy. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. We got Freddie here, man. <clears throat> Freddie, say what's up. Hey, man. Thanks for having us, man. Uh, Freddie JB, one half of the Two Stupid Dogs. Follow me on Instagram, P H R E D D Y J B. He just said, say what up. <laughs> nah, oh, you said <laughs> You gotta do it right when people come to our house. Who's the next house? Who's the next house? It's Udi. Uh, Watch how plain this shit is. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm gonna follow your lead. Oh, alright then. Hi, right, it's Udi. You can catch me on uh, IG at Oceanborn Savage. That's right. And my I'll follow of him. us. That's too stupid dogs. Two stupid dogs, yeah. Two, two stupid dogs. Yeah. Two stupid dogs. Guys, like I said, I'm, I'm sure that you've heard me um, or you've seen me share this podcast. It really is a trip. Uh, it's, it's what really. What's the word I'm looking for? Motivated Jay and I to get the ball going and start this up. So we got to pay some homage Community. to them. Exactly, nah, man. And, and, and also, if, if you find our shit entertaining, or even if you don't, you know, you're bound to run into a couple of their episodes for sure that you, it's just funny shit, man. <laughs> Think Thanks, uh, man. like Nick Cannon wiling out meets fucking you know, actual like intellectual that. conversation. Mine is the turban, though. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> I don't know, man. That shit's gonna fly. Hell, that's no, like what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I might be able to let it let me get like a Johnny <laughs> test. Hell, no. <laughs> so uh, before we dive into it, actually, um, you know, just so so our listeners, because all they've all they've heard so far is us brand new starting up. You guys have done it a little longer than us. But what um you know what made you get started? What you know I knew you from back in the school. Yes, sir. Uh, I didn't really know if um, you know like radio or tv or entertainment i mean i'm not surprised at all but mm. what you know what motivated you what what got you guys going oh uh, yeah um i don't know we me and him work together and we like have all shifts so like we basically kind of like meet each other while we're leaving mm. and um we just uh we, we would sit there and talk i would be leaving i'm supposed to be going i ain't got nothing to do when i go home 
You know what I mean? I'm just going to like, beat my dick and just go to sleep. <laughs> That's right. You know what I mean? Play games. Yeah, play video games. You got the whole house to yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're going to fit in just fine with this fight. Yeah. So, I was in there for Hashtag 40 minutes talking to my homies. So, <laughs> <laughs> 40 minutes talking to my homie. And um, it's like, yo, we just, I just wanted it was like, yo, we need to do a podcast. He's like, I'm with it. Oh, so it was your idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, like, with him, he, I never knew about podcasts. I had no idea. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm just ratchet listening to music, you know. And then he hit me up and he was like, Dude, I need to talk to you. Let's t- let's chop it up. I got a I got a proposition. I was like, all right. So I came in, like I said, like off shift. And then, like he said, every time I come in, and then he's there, and he's supposed to go home, and we spend like an hour just like laughing and bullshitting. And then you have the random white guy in the corner looking at us like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> <laughs> like our coworker, like, what the fuck? Like, I don't understand like, your go vernacular. Home? Yeah, like what are you doing? We're, we're talking so much shit, and they're like, what the hell? So he just came up, and he was like, dude, we should start this. And I was like, all right, let's. <clears throat> if we do it, just give me like two weeks. Let me get familiar. So I started listening to podcasts. He recommended some, and I was like, you know what, dude? Let's let's just do it. But let's not. Me, I'm very organized, so I'm like, let's not bullshit this shit. If we're gonna do it and we're gonna spend time and put money up, let's do it, do it right. about it right. Bro, he that sounds he, very similar uh, to our relationship. Yeah, he, he wanted similar. to plan too much. I said, fuck it. I said, I bought the shit. Let's do it. Yeah, so <laughs> it was a happy That's medium. That's literally Bro, us. But you were me. <laughs> yeah, but if it was you two doing it, you'd still be planning for twenty. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying to fucking. Make nah, it. But it would be no, right. But, but it would be right. Yo, I think of Woody. We were spending all this money not knowing shit. Two years. Mad inventory. Now me and Freddie would be on episode four. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's it's funny that you, you yeah. said that because you do need that balance. You know, yeah, there's, you need that there's balance. times where I get overzealous. I'm like, let's go, go, go. And he's like, wait, let's take a step back, mm-hmm. plan yeah. it. But then there's times where I feel like, you know, on the flip side, he's like, oh, I'm on the procrastination he's o- almost side. like, oh, not procrastinating, mm. like overanalyzing and maybe overthinking. Yep. When I'm like, hey, man, why don't okay, we just man. run with it? You know what I'm saying? That's why I want him right now. Because I feel like procrastinating is more negative. It's like you're putting it off. I don't think you're putting it off. Mm. I think you're maybe trying to fine tune where we don't need to. Mm. And on the fl- like I said, on the flip side, I might be putting a cart before the horse sometimes. So we, right. Even right we now, I just had to talk to him. I'm like, like, before, like, literally yesterday, I got that single mother for money. I said, listen, <laughs> let's see what happens. <laughs> Tax, taxes, taxes are open. <laughs> let's do this merch now. Well, I <laughs> and I think what's perfect is that, like, you know, like we said, I like, I'm an overthinker. Single. Like, I try to organize. I, I have everything yeah, planned. Yeah, yeah. So it was interesting because when we started incorporating video, it was like he wanted to, like, get this, get this. And I'm like, bro, let's let's ease up. Let's yep. see what the audience wants. Let's we have like, a little me. Yeah, tone it up and then see what they want. And then his, uh, you know, his girl got him a camera for, like, Valentine's Day. He's like, well, it's here now. I'm like... Fuck it, <laughs> we gotta make it work. So it's like that happy meeting. He's shout like, to her. he's like, yep, shout, definitely shout out to <laughs> her. She believes in us a lot. Who's that? Yeah, it's a dope camera. Um, but he's like ready to go. I'm more like, all right, let's analyze. So it's like a yeah. perfect meeting, and that's why we that's mess exactly. So well, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, couldn't be any more. Yeah, because I'm unorganized as fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll it, catch him slipping. So I'm like, bro, come on. Like, I need like I'm, some content I'm for today's show. I'm unorganized as fuck, <laughs> and he keep like. Th- the, f- the show will be done without him pre- pretty much. But even, you know what? He could probably run the show by himself. But not even that. <laughs> but not even now that, though. Me, so but not know. even that. I, I wouldn't be able to because, like, the way he attacks the show and how he, like... Like he plays devil advocate and gets in people's heads. Like I couldn't do that. I'm more of like guiding and organizing. Oh, see, that's where I'm a Mike, but yeah. he'll he'll sit there and be like the Charlemagne and fuck with people yeah. and bring that content out of people. That's why that's it's good. It's good match. balance. Mm-hmm. Good you know, balance. like you know, and you as for well, a listener. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah he, he's well, definitely more on the probably. I wouldn't even say PC side, but mm. um, where I'm probably bitch. more the. <laughs> Bitch, motherfucker. No, I just bitch. That's how you know it's real when he gets high pitched. Bro. <laughs> you're calling me PC. I just no, no, got no, a I'm message. Not saying, I'm not saying you are PC. Today. All I'm saying is that you're more PC probably than I am. I'm P less, bro. I'm P less. Y'all ain't like me. My girl be like, why do I fucking date this dude? She said, I'm the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we had a Christmas yeah. episode, and, she, and they, everybody was looking yeah, at me. Christmas episode, bro. <laughs> yeah, we got forty people. Yeah, in the house, bro. It was. There were so many people. Dude. I was, feel like I was she said that on the podcast. <laughs> Yo, on the podcast was this like was like I'm sleeping with this Why guy. Why with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> but the Christmas episode was wild, dude. There was people in the back. Was it Christmas or Thanksgiving? No, it was it was Christmas. Thanksgiving. Right, 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 right. right. But it was people snowmen. People playing Smash Brothers in the back. We trying to keep them quiet. Sexy. It was like 
pobre, ya no, 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 <laughs> Yo, this bitch ass dude was in the back like, no, no, I'm not ready. No. No. He's like, but, 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 but I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad like, I didn't because I would have got uh, got up when True. I needed to get up. And then his, his girl got you know there, I mean. and then he left, and then they came back like, oh, our car died. And I'm like, the fuck were y'all doing in the car? <laughs> and he looks at me, he's just like, <laughs> you fucking creep. Why was it on? Exactly. Because it was cold though. And I had to... It was cold, man. Mm, yeah. You, know, you gotta yeah. keep the you know, I get it. I get it. You know what I mean? But you generate that heat though. Yo, so so something happened to to me recently. Yeah. Uh, I just it's funny because you you mentioned that me being a little more PC, which I understand why you might say that. But mm. somebody reached out to me privately and they said that recently on an episode they have found something disturbing. You know, a comment that I made. Okay. And I was a little taken back. I was like, hmm. I was like, first of all, are you surprised that you're offended? <laughs> yeah. like, no, I, yeah. I would never say fuck you. And that's the thing. I, I think I, people are sometimes, like, coming from you. So, well, and specifically what she said, dude, she, and I, I respect her for coming out and, you know, addressing me about it. I like that she was comfortable enough to do it. Mm. And she came prepared. She said, yeah, at minute 44. <laughs> you said, oh, seven oh, seconds. Oh, she I said, can't wait till I get that. Before, I, I, sent it to, I showed Jay. But she said, you know, you were talking about what you would do if you hit the lottery. And my response was, I'm like, first thing I'm doing is I'm finding a Jew accountant. You know, I'm making sure all my money is safe. And I said that. But, anybody? But, you know, her take on it was... She don't like the word account. She's like... <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. She's like, you know, don't spit on our shit. Right? I was about to say, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I did. So, <laughs> and then, she, you know, she followed up with, like, you know, I'm not sure if you understand the relevance of the word, but how that could be offensive. And I said, I said, listen, you know, I, I'm first of all, thank you for listening to the episode. I'm glad that you reached out and, you know, you're comfortable enough reaching out to me. Um, but I meant Muzzle to, tough. You know, yeah. Muzzle <laughs> tough. But I'm like, you know, you have to understand that all humor, going to hell. Okay. like all humor, you know, anything you find funny, it's subjective, you know, and yeah. I didn't mean it as a derogatory, I meant it as, you know, no different We're than if I, jest. yeah, no yeah. different than if I made a joke about Asians being good at math or black people being faster than white people, mm -hmm. you know, or so white she, people just having cleaner records no, and being better fathers. She was upset about the word Jew. Yeah, I, so I think that's where more line. But all so, I could do is, you know, apologize that she didn't find it funny. Like I'm not gonna censor myself, you know, or censor ourselves because then it's it's a disingenuous right, show if we're. Right. Oh, absolutely. But like, apparently, Jew is a derogatory term. It's like, but I, I always I, thought, I, of, but I, like, I learned it's short for Jewish. Yeah, that's but that's, they don't like that. They don't like that. I really, I thought it was just short for Jewish. Like seriously. So Me I, too. I, I, I didn't well, actually, it, from, but it, it is short for Jewish. It literally is short for Jewish. Yeah. Well, hold on. It, Jews come from Judah. That's where, like, the whole term comes from. Mm. So, I mean, like, you could be Israeli and not Jewish. Mm. So maybe somebody could find that probably so offensive. I, I mean, it's but really... Still, I've I mean, heard that before. Like, they don't like to be called, like, a... Like, you Jew or, like... Yeah, but also, but also the good shit. money... I think, I think a rapper Udi, got in trouble for that. Udi, when you say it that way, yeah, no yeah. shit. Like, if I said, hey, Udi's black, do you mind? But if I go, you black, you black... <laughs> I don't like the term African American, but that's the side point. I I feel like <laughs> so, that's trying to just you know like because you're scared to say. I feel like you say mm. African American because you're afraid to say that somebody's that's the black. Politically correct be, because you're, you're here, like here. deep down inside you feel guilt. I don't feel guilty for saying it. Mm. Like my kids will sometimes come home and when they're when they're describing somebody, they'll be like, oh, you know, he's he's uh, he's the kid. It's Chris. He's got the brown skin or his mm -hmm. skin is darker. Yeah, the black kid. Yeah, the black kid. But sometimes, big ass well, dude. sometimes his grandmother. Was, <laughs> <laughs> so his grandmother Jesus corrects Christ. him. His grandmother's like, "Oh, don't say that." I'm like, "Hey, you know, don't worry." Like, because by you saying "don't say that," you're teaching him that there's something mm -hmm. wrong yeah. with just describing right. somebody. To so me, I just, I just think that, like, no matter I what, yo, there's, there's you're gonna offend somebody. Well, you're gonna offend somebody, and there's you have to be put in a category. I, I mean, un it's unfortunate, but that's not literally how it is. Unfortunate. It just is. So, like, when you're filling out an application and they're asking you what's your ethnicity. What are you going to circle? Like, you might not uh, like the term being black. But it I'm just saying, though. Some what people that application is for. No, no, no. If I it's for, you know, it's for a job, right. just circle white. If it's for government assistance, mm -hmm. circle Hispanic or black. You, 
But no, that's job, bro. But, you don't, you but don't I'm just saying in general, like if you don't like the <laughs> term <laughs> black, you just you put a lot of people shit and nobody it. Yeah, no, no, affirmative no. action works most for white women. Does it? Yes. Hmm. Look it up. Oh, oh, shit. Um, what I'm just what I'm just trying to we say. We got a is young that, Jorge. Young Jorge will look up. Well, I, was gonna, need. I was gonna say about your point is that I know somebody that filled in white. And she's a girl trying to get into a school. Mm-hmm. And she filled out white, and she sent the application through. And she for some reason, it didn't get through. But she's Scandinavian or something, so she put other. Mm-hmm. And then she literally got accepted. <laughs> nice. No, it's, it's true. Like, this, I've seen this it's actually proven fact like, with black people to get a <laughs> job. <laughs> <Tough. laughs> Where black people, when they try to get a job, they actually put white. And they actually get called in faster. And then get they get in, and they're like... I got a nice shit, black you, What are you gonna say? Yeah. How, it's like, how, if how you think know? you're white, because then you can get white. real muddy water too. Saying <laughs> until you, you know, show up for the interview, in like no. <laughs> yeah, but they, they, yeah, but you get shot, but you can't They're say like, anything so, though. Rwanda. Jamal? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about yourself, Jamal. <laughs> But honestly, though, you but you can't say anything though. If that person feels like they're white, I mean, you could be dark skinned and white. You know what I mean? Like, nope, but I you. But what? I'm just saying what? though, if you circle I'm that, a darker hey, white. A dark <laughs> white. If, I, if I go to your job and I'm white. like, oh, I'm white. <laughs> are you gonna tell me otherwise? Yep. You would call me out otherwise, I, bro. You're I'm fucking fine. I would call, <laughs> You're done. I would call you're getting sued. Out. You're getting sued. I would bro. do. I probably still hire you. But then I would <laughs> be like, all right. So, off the record. What's there up? is no off the record. There is no off the record. No off the record. You can't. You but can't should... call me out on that. If so I register, this, if I feel point, like I'm white, yeah. I'm fucking white. That's, that's right. It's, it's that's, 2019. That's outrageous. It's 2019. Ladies, already, I have right? a six pack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You have a fucking six pack. <laughs> no, but Josh, in the fridge. Somewhere under there you do. <laughs> Somewhere right. under there you do. There's yeah. truth to that. But like, please, I want to hear what you're saying. Yeah. But how crazy is it right now that in 2019, when you submit an application, they ask you? Yeah. Just mm. even the question of uh, self yeah, yeah, Why should it matter? matter? But you don't have to answer. Okay, okay, but yeah, but you're not gonna get hired. Well, no. <laughs> it, there's some online. Right. We'll there's some off. online applications where it shows you buttons that you click. Mm-hmm. It'll say, you know, white, black, whatever the you know buttons are, and then it'll say other. There's no, you no racist other. Racist as fuck. Oh my god. No, but it's but no. <laughs> right, it's so, absolutely true. So, so I, it's but crazy. Even if you don't have to answer. Either. You're right. That it's it's still there. So mm-hmm. it's st- the only reason it would be there is if it matters, mm-hmm. and it it shouldn't be there. They know crazy. the. The only reason why I feel should. I'm sorry. Good. No, no. The only reason why I don't like. I want to go back to that. I don't like African American. Is because it's, it's it's excluding us. It's it's putting an extra right. tag. Like just uh, American. Uh, yeah, American. I'm just American. Like I never I never even yeah. seen Africa. Yeah. Why do I gotta be? <laughs> like I literally, right, yeah. my <laughs> homie went to Africa, and I was like, "Yo, you was out there riding with lions, big with apes." He was like, "Bro, I was in boarding school." I was like, "Oh, <laughs> so I fucking whack." <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, people like, thought you were out there. <laughs> I actually I actually had somebody I said I said Indian and they're like you mean Ooh. Native American? No, I got yeah, I'm I'm like, yeah you got a I got no, Native, Native American, American bro. I'm like, no, I don't mean Native American. I mean no, I actually, head fucking <laughs> dancing around a fire actually, trying to make it rain for fucking Indian. No, 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 actually Native American. But that red dot Because you know what I'm talking about? Found Red Dot. No, he was yeah. literally. Yeah, I say Dot Head Indian too. Oh, he was God, literally yeah. looking Dot for Indian. Like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so it's a whole mistake of people. That's mm-hmm. why they get upset. Like, dude, no, we're just Native American, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got fucked. But up. yeah, they're Indian, Indian as fuck. But I would like to comment on what <laughs> I want to just bring it back a little bit with what you said because I had to, I suffered the same not suffered but the same thing happened to me when somebody came to you and found something very offensive, mm. right? So. It was with you with the whole juice situation. There was an episode where um, I think Udi was like, he was. We were talking about. Um, I think it was episode fifteen when V was saying that she was molested by a Guatemalan her, her. Oh yeah. Guatemalan stepfather, right? Dang, and then this fucking that? guy. <laughs> And this no, 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 that's my homie. No, no, that's, that's my so, homie. That's all I'm, I'm laughing at the person that got offended. Yes. <laughs> oh, I was in, so I'm in school, and then, so he said, so this is what he said. He was like, yo, Guatemalans are predators. Guatemalan men are predators. <laughs> wow. And I was just like, right, well, at the time, it was fucking hilarious. I gotta Obviously. go back and listen to that, because you know, I don't like I said it like that. But, but you know, I kind of was, you know, I kind of lived in CF for a while, and I've seen Guatemalan <laughs> men kind of 
but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I walked a little tight. I don't like, think, I don't think, I didn't think nothing of it. So I was in school, and it was like during a test and everything. And she was like, oh, so I, I, I listened to your podcast. And I was like, oh, how'd you like it? She was like, I actually enjoyed it, but there was one comment I didn't like. And I was like, okay. And she was like, because I'm Guatemalan. And I found it offensive, and this and that, yo, she started going off. And I was seems, like, oh, my, that was my co host. So I, yes. <laughs> yes. I was like, take it up with him. I don't know what the fuck it's his about. Instagram, <laughs> his Facebook. But it was actually you. Huh? I'm, notorious, oh, it was, I'm notorious for fucking offending people. But, like, and it's, oh, it's you and easy. me both, bro. Yeah, but you know what, though? F- fuck that, though. Like, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. I yeah. get it, but you're not going to always like what we say. But Because wh- what she said, oh, I love the show, but there was one comment I didn't like. Oh, what yeah. so, yeah. it is but she, she has the right to feel that way. I would listen to her and I wouldn't tell her. I, I guess I really yeah, I was you, just but like, like, I get it. If it but, wasn't, if it was the rea- crazy. The reality is, though, you don't have a right to not be offended. That's true. Meaning, also. I mean, look at, look, look at me. I, if, if somebody mentioned fat, I could get offended. If they mentioned tall, I could get offended. If somebody mentioned ugly, white, ugly, small dick, fucking big ass dick, I can get offended. You get offended with me? What? I'm just saying, like, no matter what anybody says, I mean, somebody could pick something out and be like, that's offensive. Yeah, yeah go fuck yourself. Who cares? Man. I think yeah. the way that like you just touched on it well, and I, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to toot my own horn by any means, but I feel like I answered her in an honest way, Stop and I dragging, bro. I think that's the only way. The only thing <laughs> yeah. I could say, like, listen, you know, I'm glad that you listened. I Don't apologize, though. Yeah, I, pre- I no. Did. The only thing I apologize for was, you know, I'm sorry that you didn't find it funny. Mm. You know, but that doesn't change that I found it funny, and some people did mm-hmm. find right. it funny. Right. Exactly. You know, and I I, I don't looking. I, I'm not going to say I love Jews because I don't love them any more well, than I love you. anybody else. Mm-hmm. They're just people to me. You know what right, I mean? Right, it's right, like, right, right. It's nothing offensive. If, if you say, hey, what's one stereotype about Jewish people, what would you say? Like, right. they're, they're stingy money. with money. Yeah. They know about their money. No, like, they're they, smart, so why with, is that smart with their money. I'm still trying to figure out why that's if, if a that's girl comes up to me and you're black, you might have a big dick. I'd be like... No, not really, but kind of. <laughs> but thank you. You're thank like, I'll you. let you think I'm not really think. black. Yeah. <laughs> I do get a like, I, I am African American. Like, <laughs> I, I thought it sounded like my, I found out my great grandmother was Portuguese, so <laughs> that fucked me up a little bit. Right? <laughs> But my, you but my thing is, though, of it. Yeah. <laughs> but my thing is, I take whatever, like, whatever the negatives are, what, whatever the negatives are, and then I just learn from it. So, like you just said, like, you just found mm-hmm. out, yeah, yeah. You just found out that maybe like saying Jew is a bad word. So you'd be like, you know what? I apologize. You didn't find it funny, but you know, thanks for letting me know. Exactly. So now going forward, that's it. That's so, what I want to do. Like, well, well, hold on. So, I, I don't. Guatemala's a pregnant. I disagree with the, the last <laughs> part of that. It could when you be. say but going yeah. forward, mm. because I I can't say but going forward because it's not going to change anything I do. Right, but you, but you know that saying Jew is the is something. That's offensive now. That's what she's saying. I don't know. Right. I thought it was short. You know what? Fuck so, that. No, wait, exactly. wait. I remember it's exactly Jew. what the context was of what I said and how I said it. <laughs> my, my, our friend was telling her when she first went to Guatemala, they was asking to buy her. Word. Oh, interesting. Oh. Right? And that was in the... And, how and, much? How much? <laughs> they were asking to buy her. <laughs> and I said, oh, I can understand now why some of them are like that. Because in their country, it's not looked upon as bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually sympathize with a sex offender, basically. <laughs> like, to some degree, right? Yeah, to some, some degree. degree. But in those, Hold but, on a second. But what we're saying, those, in what I he's trying to say. But what he's trying I, to I say. I try to say the same shit, too. Yeah, but what he's like trying to say. Because in the Philippines, say. you could fuck like a 13-year-old. Yeah, yeah, and it's not. I mean, that's what they're But, that's what but they do. I'm not right. offend anybody with this one. At, so, so, I'm in not those countries. So, don't get me wrong. I've burned all the sex offenders. Cut the dicks off, throw them away. But if in your country, that is the... If that's well, you the have norm. to define what is a sex yeah. offender. Somebody that you when in Rome. But, <laughs> <who's the Romans? laughs> no, but if you think about it, was it back in history? If a if a, if a girl starts to bleed, yeah, if a girl starts to bleed, you, 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 you gotta have kids with them. So right? no, back in no, was not it, Uganda, bro, in the Asian countries. Well, so, so back in history, like if, boys out there. if a You're woman starts there. to bleed, she's technically a woman. That's why that's I think what, Michael Jackson they, did that shit. It's not. It's not that go she's over there and do it all day. Like what you're saying. Hold on. Isn't that, 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 that what it is? Watch your mouth. You. Watch your mouth. You're not with me on that. Why do you guys do shit? No, I'm with you on that. Okay, all right, all right. He's against you. I'm not against anybody. Hold on. I just want to touch base on what Freddie said and what we all just kind of agree on. It's tough to judge somebody as a sexual predator or a sexual because all it is 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 a cultural norm mm-hmm. you know because in other countries like you said they, they can America. have sex with somebody as young yeah. as 13 because at the end of the day whether you want to hear this or not 
science and biology shows you that at 13 our bodies are ready to have sex exactly. mm-hmm. they actually at, go through a children. process exactly. to yeah not just no. you know have sex but reproduce yeah. you know the reason why we Wait, have you sex say that again? so I can make this stance <laughs> so I can make this stance right now so no I misunderstands me I think tread, it's lightly. Disgu- tread lightly I think it's disgusting as fuck oh, and absolutely. I don't and I, and I, I'm American so I believe if she's too if she's not 18 you're wrong bro yeah, and you need to get the fuck out of here. See, that's but, why I, but I then, have a big problem with that. But but then right, and then then the same point. Like, yo, if you yeah. have like, what if your husband, if you have Viking blood, right, and you have a, you know Vikings have bloodlust. Yeah, like that shit that makes them crazy and want to kill. That's Irish and, people. And and that shit shows up in your fucking <laughs> DNA, and you in jail for murder. Are you really at fault? Yes. Yes. How? So you're breaking the law. I mean, we're a country I mean, built on laws. No, hey, I'm not saying big, that laws what, are what right. What a big do say. What a big do say. They don't give a fuck about you murdering nobody over mm. here. You want to know why they get mad because you murdered someone? Because you're taking away from American money. Yeah, when when, when somebody goes when, when somebody goes or, when, when you kill someone, that is money being taken away from America. That's true. That's you are you, you are you are a price tag to them. Yeah. I mean that's that's a I murder, murder is saying. murder is wrong, right? Yeah. But we do it all the time. Well, we go to other countries, murder the fuck out of them, and then plant ourselves into their soil. That's a good point. That's not we. Some people, I, I disagree no, with that. No, we go. We're know. literally. I hate if that. If you that's believe in God, God, right? We're murdering God's people. <laughs> he is a motherfucker. That Ar- and the motherfucker is from Bethlehem. He's a uh, 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 who is God uh, or Jesus? The, like, Jesus, fuck that Jesus, dude. Let's right? kill him. They're the same thing. If you hear about the tr- the Holy Trinity. We're, we're literally bombing his people. The Trinity is bullshit. Listen, <laughs> I don't. I just I, offended like everybody oh, yeah, in America. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> this whole podcast is fucked. I, I believe in I believe in God, bro. Jesus. Right? Jesus. I just pioneer this shit. Oh. I believe in God, but Jesus is shaky. Like if you play telephone, you can do like if you so win a game telephone. You, do you believe in God or do you believe in uh, some okay. kind of higher power like a God? Like a God. All right, so so God is God. Is whatever. Religious. Can, yeah. I, I, so like I, I, religion, organized religion is fucked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think so the, the Bible was made by by slave masters to um to to keep us alone. Wasn't it somebody from the Vatican who just got convicted again? That's why I like yeah. slave yeah. That's yeah. like it's every day. Highest, Dude, that one shit. One of the highest leaders. What's up? Religion. Yeah, what's up, yo? It's crazy because I watched that show True Detective. It's all good. Don't and the research. recent like season is literally about like literally somebody of higher power, of higher like yeah. stature, and these people are literally like. There's a lot of people like in high position who are fucking sex Bro, if Jesus was well, so like, real, why are we yeah, right? if Jesus was like, so real, insane, right? Well, they have all the proof in the Vatican to tell us that Jesus is real. They won't show us none of that shit. Because he's not. Well, like, the whole concept of organized religion is very interesting because it, it's so. It, it's such a, a strong belief instilled in many, many people with different variations where I think that <laughs> somewhere in the foundation there's some. There's some truth to it. You know, the, these people at a certain time were on different parts of the world where it was impossible for them to communicate. Mm-hmm. So I think that at one point or another, you know, the experience of a higher being is truth. You know, there's yeah. truth to that. But when you have organized religions like Christianity and Muslim yeah, and man. Buddhism, I'm sorry, or Islam and Buddhism, Buddhism. And Judaism, I like Buddhism, that. I like that. I like that. Judaism. Buddhism. 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 <laughs> Booty, 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 Bro, if you didn't believe, people didn't believe in God, that, they'd be you're, you're putting all the all the religions on the same plane and then saying, you know, hey, if you choose one, but you're assuming that all are the same. You know what I'm saying? They all have risk, the basic principles. Value, or? Yes, I think they all have similar basic principles, and that, that the, in my pers- uh, opinion, the principle is that hey, everything you do, somebody's watching over you, so that should determine what decisions you make. Could it be possible that one of the religions is the true religion, though? Could, could could the yeah, truth that possibility. Sure. If could I had the, the pick, possibility to be the truth. If I had the pick, know, right? If I had the pick, <laughs> I think yo yo Muslims yeah. man, they, they be so die hard. I believe it's that one. No pun. I don't no, know. No, <laughs> no pun. <laughs> what is that? Just, it? just because no their heart. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> no no no. And most of my uncles are Muslim, right? That's why I, one of the reasons oh, why I don't pork, right? So he said sorry. <laughs> no, 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 I don't fuck. I don't eat pork either, man. I told you that even on your guys' <laughs> yeah. part. Yeah. So, so like, Do you eat goat? I just, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> 
There's rules to this shit, man. Yeah. So, so like, I just, I just see how like how beautiful the culture is, right? There are radicals, just like there's radical Christians. It's exactly. like there's radical, radical everything. Yeah, it's radical everything. I just see how beautiful the culture is. I have the Quran, but I don't have the balls to read it. It's slightly because I can't Yo. read. <laughs> Bro, did you know that Islam came Quran out of also. Though, at, at a Jude? I bought a Quran, but I no, read it. Judaism. Islam Christianity? was first, and yeah. then Christians came. Yo, honestly, uh, I don't think so. I don't know. I think I, 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 you know what? Because you're white, I believe you. <laughs> Yo, I'm half white. <laughs> well, I will say, like, this whole My religion, top like, I was raised <laughs> this top. You when you talk. <laughs> Yo, you're sitting perfectly, but every time you oh, wait, that's, that's not, like, that's not, oh, that's not much better if my bottom half's Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you know what's crazy is, and most people don't know between the Quran and um, the Christian Bible. The yeah, only thing that's different is, that the, the, yeah, the only thing that's different really is that they just don't believe that Jesus was God's son. Yeah. They just they think he, he was they, they actually mention him. They just think he's a prophet, he's just a like Muhammad. Mm. The only thing I would yes, say, like, swear. I was, yes, swear. Right. I was raised a Jehovah Witness. Yo, that religion is, that's die hard. That wow, shit is no right. joke. I was yeah. raised. Like, I used to be. That's some serious shit. I that's used like, to be the one and the freaking thing. My mom's like, go knock on that person's door. Like, 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 yeah, that shit like a, sucks. You're like a heaven but, recruiter, right? Yo. <laughs> Fuck military yeah, recruiters. They, they, we the ones that were really like, yo, recruiting. we need bodies to get up. Like, <laughs> yo, like, yes. why like you Jehovah's Witnesses is, well, is yeah, crazy. They take it very literal. Yo, like, no, they take scripture really, very so literally. I was raised in it. My mom is in it. After 16, I said, fuck this. I can't. Yeah. Like, that's that's, a, that's about the time you said, no. But I will say this. What's your, what's 16 your was around the time I was bringing drugs in the church. Wow. <laughs> Man, oh, I had a backpack. <laughs> I had a backpack full of weed, bro. I was. <laughs> oh my god! I'm mean, like, fuck this. Is that thing that they, they fucking weed. swing around in the in the Catholic church? That gold thing with incense and shit. You got, you got weed in it. You got weed. In. Yo, what what you there was some shit that happened. <laughs> Wasn't it some kids that put weed in that gold thing? And yes. It, and it fucking got. Yo, they actually got some. So. They got charged. They got charged. Yo, no, I want to no, fucking hang with those kids. Those kids are fucking. Yeah, well, I wanted to hear what you were gonna say. You were gonna ask me something. You said yes. Uh, what happened with so what what what, is, what was it about the whole JW that you didn't honestly it was, was it, it just, the work was it the the commitment was it the dedication was I think it, it was all of that no 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 on some no on some serious yeah. it was literally all of that and it was like the biggest thing with Jehovah's Witnesses right it's like if if a wedding or a funeral or anything yeah. like that is happening they're very a, close to Ju the Jewish religion right yeah they are and if it happens at another church they can't go you can't go to other churches you can't do it so like if like if you if like if you're your witness and yeah. your best friend is Catholics or your brother and like, your brother damn. is Catholic and is getting is at that church is getting buried or whatever they can't go and to me I felt that was fucked up like I'm sorry like though that's your belief but like you can like you're just going into that church or whatever you're not practicing what they're with yeah that's that religion that's so that bothered me ish yeah religion. that bothered me it's in the two that, hour a day fucking services i was talking about i grew up in a church like my my grandmother was as a bishop my uncle was a yo, an apostle sing, like, I, what like sect? Crazy. What, uh, huh what, catholic pentecostal pentecostal yeah so Does he say so what's like that? Yeah, what's that? It's no. a gang out here, man. <laughs> hey, what's that? S E C T. You know what's that? What's shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out to TPS. What's that? Pentecostal Temple Pan, faith, yo. Pentecostal <laughs> PC. Witness. PC. Witness. <laughs> Witness. <laughs> Witness. He's Joe. Tapping the J. Woo. Christian. 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 You see some fucking. They're fucking Beating people in. They're the lock turf, motherfucker. They're jumping people into the fucking. Not in beatable Bibles, bro. <laughs> If you really think about it, yo, this religious shit probably yeah. the way they do. Yo, that's, that's the most yo, wars of, uh, on, yo, before gold, we go oil, further, drug sales for God. Yeah, man. What, what Freddie just said, I think he used the wrong word. He said this religion shit is really a gang. Like, I cult. think it's really a cult. Yeah, it's mm. a that's, cult. that's what every religion is. Yo, you know what? I Just to comment what you were saying, like, mm. no, like, I respect my mom's religion, but low key, I felt like Joe Witness was almost like that. Like it was just totally cultish. Weird. Yeah, very cultish. They're very cultish. cultish. You know what I mean? Hey, sorry, mom, but like I couldn't do that shit. But I, I will say like, this though, I, I felt really like that the very first time that I went to church. Mm, mm. It's my, so weird. Everybody stink. I remember. I remember going on so Easter. No, I went on Easter. It was the first time I ever went to church as a kid, and my mom brought me in, and she's like, "Okay, we're all gonna sit. 
We're all going to sing together and kneel yeah. and stand up, and then they're going to bring over a basket, and you got to pay the guy <laughs> that's singing to you. Yeah. Like, I ain't I'm doing fucking not, shit. So I am out. <laughs> that's <laughs> why, like, the only religion that um, I think I, I would ever this? do or li literally go into, I, I really appreciate Buddhism, because it's not yeah. really a religion. It's self-reflection. It's, self it's energy. It's literally yeah. spiritual. Like, I mean, though you're on some totem stuff, but, like, it's all about energy. My I started really going to into hell. it, and I was like, you know what? That's the you only way I would go. My uncle told me I was going to hell. Because I, mean, I, I because I am, I, but <laughs> we all agree. We all. Like my uncle's not going to hell because I um because I uh I acknowledge other religions. Wow, see, and I was, uh, uh, and that was the religion I acknowledge, right? And I was, and I thought about it, and I don't want to be a dickhead, but he has a. Oh, you're about to be a dickhead. Nah, I know. I don't leave my uncle alone. Nah, your uncle's a dickhead. I'm not leaving my uncle alone. That's the precursor. What religion did he practice? Oh, uh, Nazi? No, no. You're black. You're a Jew. <laughs> like, when I say, I'm a, I don't want to be I'm an asshole, Jew, I'm about to be an asshole. <laughs> As much as I want, as much as I want to disrespect him, I, lo I love the guy. So no, I'm good. <laughs> I, I love the guy, and I don't think he's he's probably gonna go to hell too. But whatever. <laughs> yeah, for real, man. All right, I think we <laughs> killed that whole religion topic. Yeah, we went. <laughs> we we just shit well, out of Hold on, but uh, speaking of religion, you know, I said uh, we were gonna talk about Hoda. Yeah, Hoda. How do you pronounce? Joining it? ISIS. Muthana. I'm mm. not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but. Mm. It's a little bit of a controversy right now. I don't know if you two have I'm heard about it in the news. I, I heard, I heard yeah, about it. Me too. You know, yeah. very, very limited knowledge. George will help <laughs> us out here. But apparently she had left. Um, she was born in America. She had left America to join ISIS. Which is wants an, to hold come. on. Let's, let's, Wait, let's, no, she wanted... Let's make a point that ISIS is a, obviously an enemy of the state. Yeah, yeah if, you don't, if you don't know what yeah, ISIS is know. right now, get the fuck out of the rock you're living under. Well, obviously, mm -hmm. but they're... So they're they're f basically file ISIS as a terrorist organization. She left the United States to marry an Islam fighter, like an ISIS fighter. Mm. So yeah. once she once she leaves the that country, must have been crazy. Well, once she leaves the country, <laughs> yeah. basically, yeah. once she leaves the country and joins that organization, she's labeled as a terrorist. So now she's trying to go back to her home in Alabama because whatever. She's from herself, Alabama. Well, she was born. She was born uh, in she New wants, Jersey. Well, she, okay. wants she moved to, to Alabama, back. but she's she trying to, to come back. back to the states. Well, she wants to go back to Alabama. She renounced all of everything, and she said that her and her son should be able to come back. So they're filing right. a lawsuit, nah, but they're filing nah, against with you. Donald Hold Trump. On. Yeah, yeah. Let's, well, let's way. let's let's get our opinions on hmm, it. And that's again, wow. so you say no, she shouldn't be back. No. Jay, you agree? Uh, absolutely. Fuck her. So is it is it is it a proven fact that she joined ISIS and she married an ISIS member? Oh yeah, no, she. She that's attempted I to marry into well, she, uh, you're a right. racist She member. went to marry. That's why okay, she that's went why there. So that's whether or not there's a marry no match up of minds the, the on these countries. The that's argument, right. the mm. argument basically is you can do whatever you want, whatever you want mm. in the United States as a U.S. citizen. Once you leave to pursue anything relating to ISIS, you're automatically flagged. All right. We're not going to let you back in the country. Understandable. But she not be technically, they're saying, they're arguing that she's a U.S. citizen. Yeah, but before we even get, I just yeah, want to make sure. Yeah, but that's an enemy of this country. hundred percent, right. and you that's what the out. argument is, and I don't think it's really an argument. Well, the, yeah. the once real, you, I agree. Once the you real issue, that line, the real yeah, issue is just about it. You know, the battle is crisis. <laughs> the the debate, so. you know, and, the, and I guess what's in the news right now, or the foundation <laughs> of re the reason why it's even an argument is not whether or not sh uh, she should be back in. It's whether or not she was ever a citizen to begin with. Oh. That's where the question mm, lies. Uh, What's going on? Because because she was born in New Jersey, and she grew yeah, up New in New Jersey. So crazy that it's not considered the U.S. Okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's it's the of America. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> the the issue was her father was also a diplomat of another country. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So the law is that if your parents are diplomats, if you're born here, you don't have that guaranteed citizenship. Uh, really? I think I it's called. Know that. But you know, just by being born here. I thought if you're born here, you no, are that's a citizen. Inappro no, I'm inappropriate. <laughs> that's incorrect. I, I, I didn't know, know that, that either. I didn't know that, didn't know that either until today. So if your okay. parents are diplomats <clears throat> of another country, and so, because they're always in other countries, yeah, you shouldn't exactly. be able to just go and have a baby so, there. My, my, uh, my stance I earlier, right? I don't have any sympathy for her if she went to go try to marry an ISIS like agent or whatever, whatever you want to call them, right? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, some, some of them are probably like the uh, <laughs> co covert <laughs> ISIS operatives. agent. <laughs> right? I have no but sympathy. Yeah, you will not remember anything. So, but I do have sympathy, and I, I do want to give my sympathy, like, because two things can be true. I always felt bad for the kid that was born into that, mm. that doesn't know anything other than that. That they just brainwashed. That, that they brainwashed him to believe that we're the enemy, which are probably all the enemy. We don't know, 
but we're better than most countries. <laughs> so like that that's the only part of any of that I have sympathy for. Like I uh, I mean I don't know. I feel like with I'll, any honestly with like the kids it's like I feel obviously I, she I has guess a kid. I, I guess be, let that be known she has a I think an right. 18 month Yeah, but you family. have to sometimes you pay for your parents sins. Which Agreed. is bad. But like right. if you can but, say that with anything though. So like I can't say I feel true. bad for that kid because this people having children whatever their lifestyle is that, that kid is going to be in that's all that's they right. know. So like regardless if it's yeah. ISIS. So they have no self Like they have no like them? this is this is a fresh new brain whatever. I can't mm. Personally, I can't feel bad. Like, un- un- it's an- it's unfortunate, but I can't feel bad. Like, it is what, what? it is. Like, I, so I'm trying to understand you. No, okay, you don't so- feel bad for a kid that was born into uh, an organization that mm-hmm. believes that Western civilization or America is the worst civilization. That's to their have life. Come. That's their parents. That's it. Is what it is. It's unfortunate. And, and then puts his life on the line for something that's so but that's out what they of believe. left field. But that's what they believe. Since no, he birth. doesn't. So, but but mm-hmm. you you had the chance to escape what your mom believes. Mm-hmm. He doesn't. Ooh, Why not? Know. Because they're radicals. He they kill off. The se- the second that he starts voicing okay. the things you voice to your mother, he his gets head killed. gets cut off. Okay. You know what I mean? I didn't so know that. I know that. that. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's that's, that's real though. But no, thank here. you for elaborating. Yeah, I did not know, know that. About it. To think me, think it's like if you have a choice. I think that helps. You got it. You got it from under your mom. Yeah. Yeah. That helps us be a little more sympathetic. I think for me. Okay. Your mom just got compared to ISIS. No. God damn, please, mom. And right now, well, I'm so sorry if they come after you. Nice I don't, don't want to sway the conversation, but go back to No, I wanted right. to know because yeah. I thought Does anybody was, have a brochure on ISIS? I want to see what their core beliefs are. <laughs> hold, hold on, one second. Yeah. No, so I think I, we said ISIS way too many times on this episode. Yo, that's, 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 that's I just feel like if they came in and came to America, it's a keyword for YouTube. Like, if an ISIS person came in and came to America, you know what I'm saying? Like, they would be like, oh, this ain't that bad. All right. Yo, I agree with you I like how you think. About it. I like it's not that bad. Like, There's logic right. behind the way yeah. this man thinks. <laughs> it's, it's true. You ever have a fucking milkshake? Like, oh my god! You're, it's not that bad. People that are born I hate the wings at strip clubs down there. Shit. Yeah. But that's it. You know, like you're right though. That like in these extreme um, cultures, man, like they they hate us because they only see. A picture, a lot of times, that their country allows them to see of us. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you could live somewhere like North Korea, and all the media that you take yeah. in but wait, is a very, well, it's a very, very um, microscopic view of what the you know your uh, country's government wants you to see. Mm. So they don't know Absolutely. of they don't know of America as a place where you can come mm. and flourish as you know whether you're black, you're white, or you're Spanish. Mm-hmm. You can come, and you may not have the same hand dealt, but ultimately we all have. There's no law. Pr- there's nothing preventing. You work hard us. enough. You know, yeah. Like don't get me wrong. Somewhere. There's some social uh, right. issues that make it tougher for one race or another, but okay. we we kind of balance that out as best we can. I think with laws that help those races or help those ethnicities. Where in fucking countries like you know Syria right now, mm. you oh, only man, know I one thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, you don't want that right now. That's right. You guys were promised. What are you gonna do with a mule? Huh? <laughs> What are you gonna do with a mule? Ride that shit. I don't know. What the fuck do you mean? Ride fucking whip it. Ride that I'm mule. Gonna do, hey, I'm gonna do jail a, poses on my mule. Oh. We're all, I think, I wasn't that part of reparations? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. The three, what's crazy is the three of you agree, like, yo, this bitch is crazy. She's yeah, trying to get an ISIS. Like, she shouldn't be allowed back in. Yeah. yeah. But the only thing really right. preventing her from being back in is a technicality and some delayed paperwork. That's all uh, it is. Delayed. When I say delayed, <laughs> yeah, delayed. when I say delayed, I mean. If you're born and your father is a diplomat, you don't have natural born citizenship mm-hmm. here. Didn't but she her ass for twenty one seconds. Hold on. She oh, was shit. born after her father's diplomacy ended, mm. and the problem is the Ooh. paperwork to file the um, conclusion of his tour, I guess you call it, or his contract, wasn't filed until like two months after she was born. Wow. Mm. You know so what I mean? It's all technicalities. Wow. It's all technicalities. Wow. But Trump is saying like, "Hey, I don't give a shit about her. She was never a citizen." <laughs> You know what I mean? He's like looking at it by the books. He's getting a lot of backlash for this, but a lot of people don't realize. Well, he gets a lot of backlash regardless. regardless. It's it's quite the opposite. All of this paperwork and all of these filings and the issue of her not being a citizen happened in Obama's last days in office. So that wasn't, you know, that was an Obama Also, it was thing. like, it was supposed to... Yeah. Exactly. He was supposed well, to you know what? I think no, adding no, no, Obama to take Trump, care of it. he made his decision saying, no, she's not a citizen. Oh, Se- okay. Sayonara. Yeah. Oh, and fuck her. I'm running with Barry O. <laughs> and Barry O's, <laughs> it, Barry O's <laughs> a good you judge know? of character. Barry O said fuck her, it's fuck her. Yeah. <laughs> I say if Trump 
No, I can't even say. What I mean, honestly, no, I'm, I'm just—I don't know too much I about. I don't know too I much about it. But if you're fucking with ISIS, you ain't fucking with. Well, the question is, right. U.S. citizenship. Well, I, I don't give a I, fuck. I like that. I like that. If you that. fuck with well, ISIS, the question, you ain't the question with they're, with they're having now, right, is that she made this decision at 19. She right. said she was brainwashed, etc. You are a grown adult but after at 18. At the same time, the argument yeah. that people having on the right. No, there's a legality well, go ahead, go ahead. there. Well, the argument they're having online, right, is she was 19, <clears throat> she got brainwashed. If she did get brainwashed into joining whatever else, does she not, as an American citizen, have the right to a trial? No. No. And I'll tell you why. Because, hey, argument. listen. That's the main argument. Because everybody, every, every, American citizen, right. every American citizen, every American citizen can say that they're brainwashed to some degree. I could say, like, you know what, an advertisement brainwashing, so I bought you, something and I didn't trial. really want it. She's 18, 19 years old. But then you go old. to trial. I mean, if like, you do something wrong and you say you're brainwashed, you still go get to try to plead yourself. Insanity, you can plead but you your can case. Plead. You have not Exactly. Can plead that doesn't mean But my thing is, is like, I, I hear that and I, and that's very, plead right now. that's very, very yeah, tough. Her. So, but what, I'm still going to stick by the, I'm still going to stick by the stance is that regardless of the fact, you know, this is a, these are countries at war right now. Yeah. Oh, at war is such an understatement too. How exactly. Is now, okay? And you're going to marry somebody who's involved in that. Regardless automatic, of break. Automatic, it's automatic. Yeah, this right. ignorance of the law is no excuse. You see this shit going on. You see yeah. what, you know these two countries are And it's hard to have not, ignorance at that point. And at that point, you yeah. know what ISIS is. And if There's you don't, case, you're fucked. I agree. It There's is There's one it is. case I could but make But I, I see what you were coming the from. The only way that I could be sympathetic for her, and it's tough to find out if this was the case, if that... If there was some super harmful coercion involved to where, she you know, manipulated. she was manipulated into saying like, hey, you don't do this, or, your family's dead. But under you, duress yeah, or under coercion. Like, like, Yo, don't you figure that out at trial? Mm. It's tough. I mean, you're making a good point. I guess that so. Is a good but point. That is a but good point. I, I still think... I, I agree if, with everybody. Yeah, no, nah, that's If, if you get involved with ISIS or anything like that, you yeah. should be out of the country immediately. Mm. You should never be allowed to come back in. Right. But, but at the same time, if it's determined that she's an American citizen... All right. So maybe she does. Let's, let's move maybe on to the next so subject. Right, we beat so. this one. But, no, but maybe she does deserve a trial. But at the same time, like, I think you're guilty regardless yeah. going into it. Yeah. You're like, dude, guilty. you. So now you got to prove. Let me ask you though. What, what if you? What if you found out? Right? Like you, mm -hmm. you're saying she's guilty going into it. But then you find out based on text rec, um, text yeah, records or um, Facebook messages mm. that they were sending her pictures of her son at school saying, hey, we know where your son's at. I'm going to cut his head off if you don't fucking buy this plane yeah. ticket. That's Wait, is, is that baby the guy's? The, the, uh... No, it's not. Uh -oh. There's so many that's facts. A, that, that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I guess... just play stepdaddy? I don't know. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> I guess that's, you know, that what George just said is like, should she at least have a chance to plead her case? She just put her All right. Hey, if you know she's what? a U.S. You know citizen. What? She, get, she should get it. I say fuck her she no matter what. <laughs> If she's a U.S. citizen, I hate that. that if she's a U.S. citizen, because at the end of the day, man, just people, you know, right, we were so just lucky that was rough. Enough. That was rough. We were I'm super sorry. lucky to be born on this side of an imaginary line. You know, that doesn't Damn. make well, our look, shit any more valuable than theirs. Absolutely, online, it does. No, absolutely, if, it does. If you're reading more into it and you look online, she had an old Twitter account where everything's been deleted, where she basically talks about spilling American blood and blah blah blah. Uh, blah. Man, at that her. point, at yeah, that man. point. Thank you for that. I'm good. them doing it. You know what I mean? Like, could be say, it, or they could just be saying that because yeah. it's deleted, so you can't have proof. Mm -hmm. So they could Hold just be like, oh, she did I want, I want to address that. a point really fast. Is you she, said that just because we're born... Well, I'm sorry. I, I Reiterate that, what you, you said. Know, like, as a human, mm -hmm. I really hate the idea that sometimes we feel like just because we were lucky enough to be born on one side of an, imagined, an imaginary line... That our lives are more valuable than somebody that wasn't born there. I don't think it's valuable. Well, let me let me let me just, let me present this to you. Our... One, is it really imaginary? Do we not have borders in America? And two, what's more valuable to you and yours? Mm. Well, that that well, everything okay. that's in your house or everything that's in my house. But that's where I feel like the you and yours that is I feel like where sometimes it gets gray. You know what I mean? The you and yours is like we're talking about I'm looking at it as like humans, because I'm gonna be honest with you. If to me, if there's a stranger and you show me a stranger, and he's from Mexico, or if he's American, I don't value either one of their lives in more than the other. If you're right, talking but about my family, of but, course, but, that's a little different. But I, I think that's besides the point. I think the point is... No, no, no. I, I, what I'm asking you is that what's more valuable to you, personally, is it your stuff, or is it my stuff? Meaning, is, is your sofa more valuable to you than my sofa is more valuable to you? 
I get where you're going with it, but I don't look at Americans Does as he in sleep a whole. Cup from time to time? I don't look at just <laughs> <laughs> when he's lit. I mean, so if I'm looking at your, if I touch your couch, your couch might be a little bit. Do we not have a do we not have a responsibility as a country, as a community, to protect our own or to 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 value our own more over? No. Let's say not if our somebody who's so, well, hold on. Wait, let, let me finish my point. Well, yeah, because he's asking over, me based on what I said. Well, yeah, yeah. Over, let's say somebody who's not part of our community. Mm. My my reply to that would be no. I don't. I think you do what's right. I don't think that you protect your community even if they're wrong. You know, so I think I there's, get, there, I, I think there's so, a moral. Look, look, I get a lot of that let shit. Me, let me That's just elaborate right. because that. if my neighbor, you know, goes to the next town over mm -hmm. and robs him. I don't think I should feel obligated to protect my neighbor when he, he did something wrong. Mm. You know what I mean? Because that other person in the next town is me. They have a family. They have their shit. Like, I, I don't see... So what is right? Exactly. Is that what That's why, like, what is just. You know, I what feel like that just. should be the the law that we abide by. It, it'll yeah. probably never be that way. That's kind of... um. Gray what's area. that word? No, not gray. What's that word I'm looking for, dude? Like a fucking like an fake fairy tale thing. kind of world. So then do you believe... I'm, I'm, I'm just posing a question. Do you believe then that we should have open borders? Is that what you're saying? Everybody should be allowed into this country? I don't believe. I mean, that. that's so blatant. I don't. Too. Yeah, I don't think yeah. Yeah. Is it? Well, yeah, that's that's and that's why I'm asking. I mean, I'm, I'm asking you to. So can well, I can I jump in on it? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, uh, so going to the thing, I believe the borders are imaginary. It's just, uh, well, they all swinging dicks and trying to figure out whose is what. The, all this shit was stolen from people, indigenous mm. people. Colonization. Like, yeah, colonization, right? <laughs> and it was. Yeah, I mean, they tricked the Indians out of the shit, basically. Uh, absolutely. Right? I feel like... Dumbass Indians. Being able to come into this country shouldn't be that much of a hassle. But, yes, you should have to have some type of... Who the fuck are you? And well, why are you coming here? Let, let me pose a point. So, if, Amer if, a, we if America was never <laughs> formed... You know what? Canada would have a case for the rest of this country being Canadian. It, meaning, if we didn't come over I here... <laughs> well, I'm, what I'm saying is that... Canada can Have be you like, seen the hey, look. Canada? Canada can be like, hey, look. If you guys didn't come over here, this whole country would be Canadian. Mm. I guess what I'm saying is that don't we don't we have a responsibility to protect our own? I mean, are are we aren't aren't we a community? We are. Honestly, on some real shit. No, I, just to chime in a little bit. If my house, if there's two houses being robbed. <laughs> You'd I'm rather protect, somebody I'm, else's house, right? I'm protecting yeah. my own first. Exactly. It's, it's, yeah. I, don't, so, I don't know. Yeah, I, mean, I, believe, I don't know. I'm sorry. I believe in that. Well, I, 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 sorry, I, I, I believe I, in I, that. I, yes. I, protect I, your house first. I think yeah, I'm protecting my own first. And I live here. If we right, have exactly. enough, we can help others. But I think if I think the enough. distinction between stranger over there and stranger close to me is not far off. Where the distinction between stranger close to me and then my own actual shit. That's a big difference. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, my personal belongings and my neighbor belongings, my neighbor's belongings, those are very different to me. I take, right. you know, I, I take ownership of one of them, and one's so much more valuable to me. Mm. But one neighbor versus another neighbor, it's equally as, you know, less valuable. So, yeah, they're just like A and A1. You the know? reason I have In the same vein, vein right? Yeah. Yeah. In the same shit. vein. It is what it is. I get a lot of my shit family. for trying to hold my race accountable for this shit. So like because what, what I'm black, I don't explain why that. You're shit please for please it, explain so. that because I'm black. Right, I should die hard ride for them, even if they're wrong. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that's not so, true. That, no, no, that's, no, no, that's no, 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 no. Same that's people, that's what same people know that's not true. Anyway. Right. Right. Yeah. So like it's like I, that old no, saying, "To thy thine own self be true." You know what I'm saying? So so what I try to do is I try to take my uncle, my uncle when I was coming up, my uncle was like, "Yo, this is your brother. You die for him. He dies, you die." Like and he's like, don't ever check him in front of somebody else. Okay. You you, you if you that's hold legit. you, you, I mean, you hold legit. his back yeah. and then behind closed doors you tell him what the fuck he was supposed to do in that situation. That's right. Right. Okay. So well, that's what I try to do. Right. That's what that's always my goal. That's a good general yeah, practice. That's a good like, no matter, even with a friend. Anything, a friend. Like, yeah. Right. 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 You know, right. In that situation, that's a, that's you hold your friends back. That's an understood general practice. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm not so, sold on whether. But I think as far as as far as in the community, right? It's like yo, like. Two things can be true, and I always try to practice this on the podcast. It's like, yo, are the police killing unarmed black people? Yeah, but are are some black men not doing right by them for themselves? Yes. So you can't, one, you can't argue that point. <laughs> yeah, like, you, can't, you can't. Well, 
You you can't it's you can't. Tough. You, it, it, it's, it's hard. Like, it's hard. So so it's in the same vein, right? Well, in the same vein, like, do I care about? Do I do I care about uh, immigrants and people coming to, into this country? I think and everybody I, and I want, generally yeah, does. Yeah. Yes, I do. But should there be laws enforced that make it so they're kind of, so it's not as easy? Yes, too. Two things can be true. I, right. I stand for both. I think just do the work, man. Do the work. I mean, well, hey, look, I don't you think know it should be like difficult. To I don't think there, you should be kicked but out. But you should be able to. There's a process to it. Right. Not anybody should just come in. Because you know, there's, there's going to be something that's wrong. Or something, there's a loophole. But it should be something that is not that easy to come in here. I, I mean? I'm about to say something that like a lot of people who look at me, they'd be like, wow. You know, like they never really think. Like, so my mother and my father, they're both immigrants. My, my father's from Ireland. My mother's from the Philippines, right? I'm first generation American. Mm -hmm. Wow. No, no, no! It's not that. <laughs> it, it, it's you must the, have fact... the smallest dick ever. Oh, yeah, that's wow. right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, yo, that's no, a no, statistic. No. <laughs> hold on, hold on, wait, no, no, hold on. Let me get there. Hold on a second. Let me defend myself. You gotta stay on the dick. No, no, no. You gotta stay on the dick. No, no, no. In about two seconds. We have to stay on the dick. We have to stay on the dick. No, we're not. We're not bypassing it. We'll get to it. Hold on. But what I'm about to say is that we have to stay on the dick, bro. Yeah, we will. We'll we'll circumvent right back to the dick. All right. Hold on. All right, guys, 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 guys. Two beers, my conditions kicking in. <laughs> All right, hold on. <laughs> All right, so a lot of people don't realize that just because I'm half white, you know, like they don't understand, like, oh, you know, your family. No, no, my parents are fucking immigrants. Mm -hmm. And you know what? They stood in the fucking line. Mm -hmm. They went through the fucking process. They had their fucking balls broken, like you know, like fuck. I gotta come back. It's like standing in DMV type shit, yeah. right? Yo, that's a good. So wait, hold on. Devil's house. If, if, war, if, it, if it's good enough for my parents, <laughs> then it's good enough for you. Yeah, that's how I look at it. That's rough. Do you think that people should be kicked out if they if they stay overseas their visa? Like if you're here paying no, taxes no. and shit, like, I think once you're in, stay you're here. Like, like once there's once enough space. <laughs> That's the imaginary <laughs> border thing that I don't like. Like, they, we fucking act as well as turn to China. Well, I hate to interrupt you, but let's get back to this dick. All right. <laughs> let's get back. Wait, hold on. Don't say my dick. Say the, say the statistic dick. Yo, it's funny. Not, whether it's true or not, I mean, I've heard good things about him. You know, I heard they call him J. Mandingo O'Leary. Yeah. But, yo. That's <laughs> One time. You heard that shit? Yeah. That is we were, the title yo, of the episode. We were just. Uh, yo, we, that's actually a good name. I never heard that, that shit. First, <laughs> nah, of, all, first I lied, of all. I got you. AKA okay. Big Daddy Longstroke. <laughs> Find me at Instagram. <laughs> So we were, yo, we were just joking, you know. I, it was Fuck, locker, locker room talk one night, and you know he was talking about. He's like, "What do you mean? I don't like my dick's okay, bro. I'm Filipino. My dick's okay. So well, hey, I would never say that well, shit. I don't know how it went, but something caused <laughs> my me. My dick's okay. Something caused my me dick's to my look. Dick's okay. Okay. Right, something caused me to like, you know, we had a conversation with him. We had a little What's debate, it? and I was triggered. Mediocre. I was triggered to fucking <laughs> look up uh, Filipino dick. No. I was, <laughs> What I was looking up. Yeah, he was. Not even lying. And what I'm I was looking to... up. Hold on, Freddie. What I was Mad looking up sexual. is um, <laughs> dick size in order from by countries. Yeah, yeah. And Filipino wasn't last, so he didn't have the smallest dick. That's gangster. Out of 169 Stop countries. Stop saying me. Like, it's it's out of... Of... <laughs> <laughs> It was 163 out of 169. <laughs> you still look at you. You look good. Oh, shit. Yo, what was number hey, one, though? Hey, I don't hey. remember. Oh, fuck. But don't you know. remember that one? Because <laughs> that's him. 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 Like, listen, stop. I'm not, I'm half. All right, I dribble oh, on my nuts. I'm sorry. Oh, hey man, let's go I'm back to the showers. Uh, I was just, and Joe just showers. gave me the grow, signal that we're yelling too much and it's gonna sound like shit. I know. I'm probably like, cabin bro, out. Sorry, sorry. The sorry. signal is this. Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> oh, he kept saying we're, like. We're, I know, I keep just talking to you. You're like, like, all right, so. I'm like, it's all the He ranked at 163. Yeah, I was so like, bro, it's not me. That's the whole fucking <laughs> shit. That <laughs> was you. Number one, hey, number one was, was Congo. You. I remember was number Congo? one. Definitely Congo, African bro. Country. It was like, Jay O'Leary was right under the Philippines. Number one was Congo at like 17 and a half best, inches. The God. best segue Damn. ever. Like, Jay told me the other day he had a tiny dick, so let's talk about dicks. <laughs> <laughs> like, did you like, 
Like, did you do like the math algorithm? Like, are you half and half? Me? Yeah, so what I'm are you? full-blooded Congo. Uh, okay. <laughs> I gotta dack you up. <laughs> like, so I'm full blooded math Congo, algorithm. <laughs> did you do like the, the average size versus the average, like get half and half. The average size thing versus half is like, oh, yeah. and it's really, it's you rank it 157 and three clubs? <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna start talking like really high pitched. Like, hey, my name's Shay. <laughs> I got a really small dick. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what's crazy oh, is that I don't know why bro. this popped into my head. So there's a lot of rumors that Michael Jackson was chemically castrated so he could keep singing in that high range, nah, man. Nah, Meaning he doesn't do well. that Listen, shit. Listen, Michael Jackson's father manipulated exactly. the fuck Meaning, yo, there's, there's a lot of rumors and, you know, I think it's legit. Michael Jackson's that his, the man. That I Michael like Jackson's, think- hold on, that Michael Jackson's father he is pure. gave him, Leave him, alone. Gave him oh, uh, yeah, chemicals yeah. To stop him from producing hormones, so his voice would stay higher, so he had no nuts. He was a devil, but I like to I like to take the um the there was this uh because they used to do that to opera singers back in the day, male opera singers they would cut off their nuts so their whole lives they could sing high like that. Well, there's like there's look up cut off nuts, please. (laughs) (laughs) There was in in Europe they actually already got it. Really, (laughs) they had singing. They had singing groups in Europe. Hey, look in your favorite for cut off nuts. They castrate you so you can sing better. You can sing higher. Literally, what? Yeah, exactly, man. So my, you know, his his dad was his dad was aware (laughs) of that, and he's like. My meal ticket right here needs to keep this high pitched voice forever. Yo, Joe Joe Jackson was a savage. (laughs) He beat his kids in a stardom like crazy. Like He's a genius. And sometimes I feel bad for like making my son put the video game control down and do push ups so he can get ready for oh, wrestling. Nah, fuck that. I'm like, am I too hard on him? And then I like, no, but you still got your nuts, game, Steven? Bro. You still got your nuts? Like, give me a break, bitch. <laughs> The good. doctor, the horrendous. doctor came out saying that he was the worst father in history, saying just what he's done to his children, and they yeah, wouldn't go out that, further. That's a stretch. They're a worst father. You watch Game of Thrones? Yeah. I mean, you just talked about you that. Know essentially about. Castrated. Did you hear the episode where I was <laughs> talking about my <laughs> upbringing? Bro, huh? Nah, Ram- Ram- the, Ramsey Bolton wasn't the father. I'm no, the no, father was. Uh, uh, I don't remember. Bol- yeah, whatever. Bolton. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. Who's Bolton about no, no, no. the father? It was but talking about the other man. father. Um, yes. Yeah. It was the dude that was killing all the. Uh, nope. It was the dude that guy. burned his daughter. Oh right. yes, the king. Oh, uh, what's his name? Yeah. Yeah. yeah where's father? There's some yeah. fucked up no, people out there, man. What about the dude that was having like impregnating his hold daughters, on, hold on, hold on. He, killing all the sons? He, he had burned a reason, his daughter. He wasn't. Here's the problem with him. He's, he indirectly, he just left them somewhere. Mm. This dude watched his daughter. No, he burn left them to get eaten. Yeah, by the water walkers. Yeah, but he didn't actually. Yeah. You're right, and this dude That's didn't. Fucked up. Yo, he yeah. watched his daughter burn. I gotta, I gotta. Uh, every Father's Day, I share the same picture. Oh, it shit. says world's <laughs> best dad, <laughs> and it's that dude with his daughter. <laughs> Fire the bag, like world's greatest dad. She, so, she if was you so, watch any anime, so right? so the world, so man. If you watch any anime, it was this guy. He had a and, purpose too. Yeah, he, uh, he, uh, he, did that. he fucking fused his. He got rid of his wife in a series of panics, right? My bad. And then he he fused his daughter with a dog to 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 fucking like make a chimera. Wait, wait, and wait, he said, meet uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so he fused his daughter. What the anime. fuck? To, anime? But, but, yeah, for, yeah. To, wait, hold to, on. Um, Dudes dark. watch shit other than anime porn? Like, you actually watch the cartoons? <laughs> 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 this is a thing? It's an anime porn. Oh, I, I have actually, yeah. I don't know I've never watched anime porn. I've seen fucking, um, what's her name from Pokemon get fucked by tentacles. <laughs> Oh, oh, you know what? I lied. I lied. I did watch anime porn when I, not anime porn. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, right? I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. When I was a kid, there was a site called Dragon Moon X. It was Dragon Ball Z characters. That's the same Yeah, it was Dragon Ball Z characters, fucking Sailor Moon characters. Yep. And I would sell them at school for twenty five cent a pop. I would print them on. You know, I would print them. I would print them on my grandmother's dial up with AOL. You got mail. Oh come on. Man. My grandma's like, baby, don't Dang use it. My grandma's gonna be like, baby, don't use all my ink. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> like, Bye, grandma. Oh, that's nah, that's but that's anime, that's but that's honestly, though, I really appreciate anime. I'm not gonna lie, I've been slacking lately, but anime really shows you, like, it'll open your it'll, it'll, op- it'll open some shit. There's some sh- topics that are really relate to real life. It's and, crazy how like, digestible it is when it's in cartoon form. Because in cartoon yeah. form, you can do whatever you want, but it really, like, mm. opens your so, mind. So, like, me, like, myself, I'm totally shit, fucking man. ignorant about, like, mm. anime. He whatever, knows more than me. I've been slacking, but. If no. you can watch, to, if you want to uh, anime, what is it? fuck it, your head up. Is it Japanese? Uh, is it Japanese? It, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's technically Japanese. Yeah. Right. It's just Japanese. It's but, like it's, but, it's, but it's more of like... It, <laughs> rice it, is rice. It's more of, it, it's more of rated yeah, R stuff. We're not. We're not okay. oh, so it's like, there's a lot of swearing, there's a lot of like real life shit. So Attack on Titan is probably one of like the craziest, like 
will fuck your head up and can relate to Rogue. So wait, if I wanted to watch it, like I'm again, I would say go to Attack on Titan for, for your age. And where would I find that? For um, my age, what do you mean? Oh, this, oh, 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 for my age, age. Go on. No, no, no. For, 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 I was saying, well, for your age. I ain't a part like, of AARP, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. My, 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 my thought was for 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 your age, right? As far as like being oh mature. God. Being yeah. with me, mature, mature right? Yeah. yeah, you ever look up mature like, porn? They're 60. Oh my old. god. <laughs> Getting power drive, jackhammered. <laughs> Attack on Titan, you can find it on Netflix. Mature. Yeah. You're mature. Yeah. You can find it on Netflix. It's, pretty, it's, really, it's really good. It'll make you think, and it's like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Mm. There, there's this, actually, I don't want to spend this, but this an anime that I'm watching right now. It's called Promise Neverland. It's these fucking kids. It that, sounds like Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> that does. It's these kids that they're on this fucking compound. And then you see them, like, in the beginning, they have, like, these numbers on their neck. And then they're all like taking these tests to see who's the smartest and da da da. Yeah, and familiar. like every once in a while, one of the kids is like, "Oh, you get adopted." You know what I mean? Turns out these kids are on a fucking farm, and they're being sold to like these demons. Nice. To, to keep them at bay. So it's like it's like a whole big fucking like story. No, yeah, 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 yeah. it's not far fetched. It's wild. Though. It's not far fetched. Wow. It's not far fetched at all. That's a sex because they can do it. Real, that's yeah, a sex slave right there. Literally, you can connect the dots. You really can. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I, I never, ever, 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 ever like dived into fucking anime. Dude, if I don't you're not even Netflix, know. So, look up Attack on Titan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. guarantee you. I mean, if you watch one, it might ruin everything. You need to write watch the right one to keep going because there's some I'd be like, oh, what the fuck? This girl's like, so if you watch, it's like okay, I can see why anime. So, because there's Bigger. some shit they, exactly. Yeah, so my girl, she's not in the anime, like, but she's seen Attack on Titan. She's very like intellectual, like, mm. like very like spiritual, and she like she's seen that. She was like, "What the fuck is this?" And mean? like got hooked. But I don't want to spend this podcast. But <laughs> nah, no, that's cool. It's crazy because you know, like, I was pretty ignorant to anime. Like when I when I think anime, like I said, I think of the porn. Mm-hmm. I know it's popular for porn. Yeah, but I think of like. Fast and Is Furious Tokyo for Fast I mean, and like, Furious Tokyo Drift in cartoon form. Nah. Like that music like come on Ichi. <laughs> yeah, no, but, but some of them are popular. Yeah, but some of them are like that. <laughs> yeah, some of them are like that, that but it is really mature like very yeah. like for adult. Just like just like like well I tried to get him to understand like the difference between like DC Comics and, and Marvel. Marvel makes way better movies. Yeah, but but way DC Comics more. they're a little but, more raw like No, but DC shit. Comics where they shine at is the animated movies. The animated movies are rated R. Like what? Give me a, give me an ex- again. I'm ignorant. I'm- so so I wa- I watched not too long ago. The- Harley Quinn takes Joker dick volume three. <laughs> I watched <laughs> not too long ago. Um, <laughs> I watched not too long. <laughs> I watched not too long ago. Uh, fucking um, uh, the Killing Joke. Yeah, it's basically the making of Joker. Like oh nice, but, yeah, but yeah. it's in cartoon form, but it's raw as fuck. Like there's no. Joker pulls up with the dirty Harry gun and shoots fucking Commissioner Gordon's daughter in the fucking chest mm. and then paralyzes her and laughs about it. So is that it. like the l- legit even, history though? Yeah, it's, like, it's okay, canon. Right, it's, it's yeah. real. It's, it's, but, but they just make, they can't make a fucking live action movie to save their life. Right? Wow. The last live action movie I seen from DC that was good yeah. was I, I Can Stand By Aquaman. Like oh, Aquaman oh, oh, was fucking stop, amazing. Stop. Are you fucking with me right now? I thought Aquaman was amazing, bro. It's so funny because I watched. I heard a few, the one line is. I don't. Terrible. I don't watch DC movies often, but like my girlfriend. When's you know, the last my time my a DC fiance, movie came out? <laughs> Aquaman. Aquaman. My fiance oh. loves that fucking Jason Momoa. I mean, and of I don't blame him because he's a main crush man. Monday for DC. Hey man, that's Cal Drogo, bro. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? But I watched that movie and I'm because I, I want to know what I'm up against. Like. Can I <laughs> I can fuck this dude up. Hey, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let you know right now. You don't. You don't. You, you don't, you don't match, have a fucking bro. rank when it comes Come to on, Jason. Bro. Don't even do this. Like one sixty-three like out of one sixty-nine. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Like a seven point eight seven. One sixty-three. One sixty-nine. But that movie, I actually told her, bro, and it's not because I was trying to hide her from seeing him, but I was like, babe. This movie was fucking terrible. You thought it was terrible. I'm like the one, like the, the 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 not like the acting was okay. It's, it's, I heard the one line. So was I, just, the, sc- the, I said the script. script I heard the script. The music terrible. placement, like it was just. I was actually surprised that they fucking released it. It was really Wait, really. First good. Movies, this, I didn't this see so, so, so I will oh, say man. I will say like like yeah, I could man. care yeah, less. I could care less about the fucking talking in the movie. Why? So the, you just the, to see the, Jason Momoa? So no, 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 no. Did the you see action, his ass? Action, 
the action, the, the action took way, the action took over the, the, the conversation. Like, if the, just seeing the, the world that they made, it was on the level of when you first seen yeah, Avatar yeah. by fucking... The, the effects were incredible. Yes, yes it was I'll on the level of Avatar when you first seen it by they, James Cameron. They created an underwater... But, yo, but, the, but Avatar has some great dialogue. Yeah, yeah but, well, Avatar's but, a much Avatar's better movie. Great. Yeah, yeah, but, no, I, I won't say Avatar's not a better movie. What you're but saying it, makes the, sense, the, the visual effects was on the level Ooh, of that. The visual and it, watching that movie... It made you I'm believe sorry, that an, under, no, an underwater good. world like Atlantis is really was believable. believable. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, you they, gullible they, ass motherfucker, <laughs> man. <laughs> I, honestly, like, listen, listen. But it look, did look, that, that part movie, didn't look fake. Movie, I've never that, seen that the movie. I watched good. It. No, listen. Yeah. I've never seen the movie, but in, in all honesty, somebody who's a fan of art and some film and acting and all of that, I know for a fact that when it comes to sc- like scripts and action, like... Action could take over. I yeah, get yeah, that. Yeah. But I'm not watching it just for that. I exactly. want to know no. about the dialogue. I guarantee if you see I wanna, it. I want to see right. everything. Is yeah, right. it's a full it's experience. A full, I mean, for it to do as the numbers it did, that's understandable because it's Aquaman. It's DC. Right. I guarantee it. Wait, 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 bro, you it did well or it did? It, it, it did really well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you see it, you don't give a fuck what Jason, Jason well. Momoa but is the star. You don't give a fuck what Jason Momoa is saying. There's 170 billion women in this country. When you see a fucking a seahorse the size of a fucking a real horse, <laughs> and that's cool. And that's cool for that's somebody going into the movie just watching it for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But with yeah. me, who understands the backing, who wants to see the B rolls and understand the that, that, I want to see some like I want to yeah. see how shit develop. I want to see the dialogue. I want to see the action. Right, there right. Was a few yeah. things so that to I, me, I I've never seen it, but. If that's you're not, the case, you're not just gonna fall in love just I'm because it's like I get you know, it. That's a big to do. Not enough everybody. I thought it was it's terrible, but I still what to uh, agree with what you said. The visual effects were fantastic. Probably amazing. But to me, the the storyline and the acting, I, I think that holds that. a little more value than just effects because every sh- like you can I go watch even heard of you can go watch Sharknado yeah. and, that's that's favorite that's favorite that's and that's why that's like that's and that's why the Oscars get a lot of shit like I don't really fuck with the whole Oscar organization I feel like they pick movies kind of iffy but sometimes mm. when they tell you like if you want to win an Oscar you have to make creative movies I'm a bro you have, man. I don't fuck with that insp- no I agree I agree but I understand yeah. why I, I understand what they're looking for like what are you pushing what are the bounds what like what's the right. dialogue are you Changing like the dynamics of like Avatar stuff. was incredible. Right. Like, Avatar was fucking you're amazing. Just not, revenant. Like, you're not revenant. repeating shit. Leonardo, you're actually creating yeah, something new. Like Leonardo should have been one of Oscar, right? Yeah. And I agree with that. Oh. But if you have seen the revenant, that's because he fucked like, the daughter picture. that he shouldn't have. How about the Spike way. Lee fucking leaving the shit? Did you guys read that? Black Klansman. Like a lot of people because didn't really black, like. Yeah, because a lot of people like it, but he won best adapted because. I you not get Denzel son of an Oscar movie. It's good. It's really good. I just like the fact how they really switched. On and off, and like how I didn't see it. But. If you think about the storyline, like a, a black person was literally in the KKK, like, but even though he wasn't the face, he was the voice behind that white person. So that's it's crazy. a it's it's trippy, and that's, that's what they and too. that's what they and it's really? a true story, yeah. and that's what they wow. look for, and that's why when I watch a movie, I was I'm looking at the, I'm looking at that shit. right. That's what I was thinking of. What what's the creativity? What's the writing behind it? What's the dialogue? What's how, that? So how crazy of it. I think I don't know if it was uh, Udi or definitely Jay, a piece of that, art. Oh, it sorry. has to be art. That, uh, I'm not only for just how action. crazy is it of all the movies yes, please, that Leo made and never got the Oscar until Revenant? Because he fucked somebody's daughter. He, he said that have. Alan Cut. He fucked somebody in the Oscar. That's crazy. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio fucked Rihanna. If you tell me, if you tell me the <laughs> did he really? Right? No, five. come on. Yes, he was fucking Rihanna. How you know? If you have they have name, pictures together. The yeah, five, they have yo, pictures of them fucking. Say the moon is I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they have, but they're not released to the public. They was in George the water Ice. together. And you know if they hang like that. Leonardo's not letting that pussy go by. Yo, Come on. If you have He's Leonardo. Five greatest <laughs> For real, he ever. fuck Rihanna? Yeah. 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 They were dating for a while. Yes. Five best yeah, she's dating a billionaire. Yeah. But go ahead, go ahead. When was this? Hold on. Uh, I'm like so out of the loop. Come here. 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 Was like with, with, last when year he, when he was fucking with the dad with the dad bod. <laughs> was that like, three years ago? A couple years, yeah, yeah. probably three, four years Bro, ago, what something the like that. Fuck but what you were you doing? saying? Nah, I want to hear what you was gonna say. Oh, so I, shit, because I really floor. fuck with films. Yeah, so. it's crazy to show you how um how much collusion is involved in that industry, but. 
if you have to name your top five actors ever, like where does Leonardo DiCaprio rank? Oh, he's got to be I'm in the racist. top five. He's definitely. I, 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 I got to be racist. I, 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 no, 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 when it comes to like uh, acting and stuff, I'm, I'm fucking. Generation. I got the apartheid going on. Like I have my white actors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> for the hey, for the sake of not being wow. a racist, he's like sure. Frederick Douglass, Marcus sure. Garvey. Sure. <laughs> All right. I don't want to say anything crazy. I was gonna yeah, drop an M bomb, but I'm not ready for that. Mm. No, but if you have to name your top five, try to separate color for once. Yeah, yeah, for once in your life, Woody. For <laughs> once in your life. <laughs> no, but if like it's hard, five, man. If I were to go, I mean, it's, it's definitely well, hard. There's definitely, definitely more hard. white actors than there are it's black actors, yeah. correct? Let's just say top yeah. five well, ever, though. I mean, there, more white, might not there's be, more white people in general. Being yeah. shown. Being, yeah, right, right, being right. Being shown there, in the Listen, film, guys, a lot of actors, actors are just get. better than black actors. So, no. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I, this is not <laughs> in any shit. order. And this there's nothing very, wrong with that. And black I know, people are faster than white people. Like, it's just a mm. thing. And I know I'm forgetting a lot of people. they're built different. Why can't we just go Denzel number one? Listen, I know I'm forgetting, yeah, they made a, bad movie. I'm forgetting a lot of people, but right, go for if it. I were to choose a few, it'd definitely be Denzel, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I'd see, put him up there. He's, he's up there? He's never made a bad movie. Don't, let's, a let's not try to I focus on the order of one really through great. five. Let's just see. No, no, it's it's like, it's a, but I really appreciate like um, uh, uh, like a Robert De Niro. Yep. I really Love fuck it. with him. Okay. Um there's another, there's um, women too, like I really appreciate, like the, uh, <laughs> no, like Charlie Starr, no, 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 like a Viola, no, no, I'm, de- Viola <laughs> he said be serious, Viola like a Viola <laughs> Davis, like, Shout out Viola, to CF. she's amazing, Shout out to CF. she's yeah, from CF, she's, from CF. That's she's, that's she's that's donated that's everything, yo, Viola, crazy, if you ever watch How to Get Away with Murder, and how, like, she there. draws emotion out of characters, and it's just amazing, I, I fuck with her. All right, you got two um, more, two more. Shit. No, no, I mean, it's not in order, but, like, um, I don't know, man. It's it's really, really tough, but, like, the ones that I, I really fuck with, like, suspense and drama, and I'll, I'll give credit to one actor that's really up and coming. I know, he's, you know, not to be on some black or white thing, Michael but I really fuck with uh, Mahershala Ali. Oh, never um, heard of him. He's on True Detective. He was on, he's on the new movie, um, Battle Girl or some shit like that, but... He's really good. I think they're trying to make him the in new one. top five? You being a dick no, not top five. But Battle I really, Girl? I'm just... The fact <laughs> that this is all about top five, where the fuck you been? I don't know. I, I, I really appreciate like, up and coming. Like, is I he really giving you royalties? Like, I want to appreciate <laughs> Like Michael B. Right Jordan. Now. Like, yeah, I like, I like, Michael Michael B. Jordan. like he's up and coming. Yeah, he's not my top five. Yeah. I'm not trying to say... He's only, the I'm only reason he's not top five is because he hasn't been doing it long enough yet. I think I think we had this conversation in 10 years. Michael B. Jordan was in The Wire. He was in the Friday Night Lights too, bro. Trust me, I fuck with him. He's been 12 years old acting. But he's... In he ten years, he had, had in ten years, when we have this conversation, roles. he's in the top five. Yeah, he is, and you got a lot to learn too. But, but how, how do you not, not mention? I, I say I top twenty. I know there's a big age gap between me and let's say all of you guys. Well, Huge. ten years, yeah, we've established right? That. But, <laughs> How, how do you Dude, not mention yeah. Morgan Freeman, though? No, no. Morgan Freeman. That, and that's because he's been Morgan Freeman for about 50 years. <laughs> Bro, I, he's Samuel like, L. Samuel L. Samuel L. You can I, go with I that. don't know if I... I don't know. No, you remember my favorite movie from I don't put either one of them. You ever seen like, Lake, Lakeview Terrace? What? Yes, how do you yeah. not put fucking yeah. Morgan Freeman I don't think in? He was racist as fuck in that movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that's his role. You know what I mean? I, just, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't think of him. All right. How about Harrison Ford? Ooh. Yeah. Star that's Wars, no, how Indiana about, Jones. Uh, what's his no? name? Fucking, that's solid. Um, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Well, listen, very, just, to like, right off the bat, pick it, I can't. Because I, I literally Eastwood? watched I have, films Clint for that cool. uh, I have Indiana. this joke, Way right? before my time, but uh, yeah. He's even still making hit movies right now. That's right. Clint Eastwood is still I have this joke. Yo, the view and him directing. I was thinking about watching that today. Is it That movie, Gran Turismo? Gran Torino, bro. Gran Torino. I'm sorry. Bro, that Gran Torino. When he's like this, when he's at those Asian's house and he's like, bro, <laughs> fucking crazy. It was that was let, a let me fucking ask you, scene, bro. Let me ask yes. you guys, why do people like Gran Torino? Why, why do people like, like that movie? It's weird because my girl hates that movie, and I thought that movie was great. I, I because I here's, I'm going to explain. Listen, why do you like race, it? It explored race relations all please, the way through. Please. It talked about bigots and yes. old guys. So, that so you, you and yourself. You, and I it made you. Said, and I was you the motherfuckers like you. Like, listen, for and not nothing, back it back made you relate. Like, yeah. It made you relate to a racist. Yeah. That, that not, alone is what was crazy. There's not many movies. There's not many movies that really, like, tap culture yes. and the way that race relations happen yes. and they had multiple times when the guy was being attacked and he mm-hmm. came out of the car as an old vietnam vet to protect that guy the young yes. asian girl and like come on bro. you watch yes. through so, the movie you watch through the movie it was relatable yes. 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 but like what no, movies no, can no, you no, relate to a race I, like we no, all no, no, like no, no. oh i'm not racist i'll give you a better it also made one second let me just get this point out 
Because I think Jay's asking a good question because it's like, at first thought, are we all relating to racists? No. But if you are racist, you're relating to him. Mm -hmm. And hopefully what that does is it shows you like, hey, man, even the most stubborn yes. veteran that has the worst memory of a specific group of people can change and understand that you shouldn't treat them all that's this way. The okay. That's you can the relate right to there. that. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that was, that, I like that's, that our, that's our, what we look at. But I also at feel like, yeah. Is, yeah. Is, is our best case scenario for America. Is it's once we get to, once once we, that, that, that negative thought about that other race, right. once we get to know yes. someone, it opens up our eyes to, oh shit. Wow, beyond the color of their skin, right. yes. or and that's, they're, they're human. And right. I agree. And that's why I say relate. And scenario. that's why I say relate to a racist because at the end of the day, you can't blame him for being racist. Because th look how old he Correct. is. Yeah, this right. is the times that he was brought well, hold on. in. There's people in Alabama. You, who you said you can't up. blame him for no because of the times. Because how was, old he is. So mm -hmm. I, I'm just I'm, I want to expound on that. Oh, so okay. is it age that? That dictates... No, but look at the times you grew up in. You it's know what I'm saying? Because think about right. it. It was people... That's the culture then. That's the culture. Right. So that, 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 I've always said it. I've always said I'm sorry to cut you off. I always no. said it like, yo, people that are like 70 and older just need to die. And, and like, wow. Like, they do. <laughs> like, for us to move forward... they have that old thing. For us to move forward as that. people... And, we, and, because we're, we're a lot more... People our age are a lot more accepting. But back then, back then, you punch a gay dude in the fucking face. Is there reality... Now, like, yo, you can't fucking do that. But hold on. Leave him alone. Is their reality invalid? Yes. Because that's their perception? Yes. So, hold on. That's, that's not, not what I'm saying. Like, that's, well, not, that's not what I'm saying. Is our reality invalid today? No, no, not at all. Today. Times change, and that's why he was saying that, like... So when it's I'm, great to see. So that. how old are you? I'm 28. You? 27. 27. All right. So let's say fast forward 15 years from now. Is your perception of society invalid? Not at all. Just because it's outdated? No, 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 no. The concept yeah, of the concept it. of being racist is wrong as fuck. Yes. Right. But I, but we understand why they were because That's it was accepting. being empathetic. It Back was, then, this is if if right. like say for instance, like just hypothetically, yep. right now. Gays are accepted, right? Yep. It's 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 yeah. taboo. It's taboo to fucking hate on them. Say in like twenty years, it's it's you're not supposed to do that again. I'm not saying it's invalid, but you can't blame me because this is what we grew up as. Yeah. This is this is this right. is our culture. This is our, our, this our is time. Our this is like time. the same thing. But as me, like, it take, it's up to me to learn that though. You right. know what I'm saying at sixty years old, I mean, like, I can't. I'm like, oh shit, it's it's not. Accepted anymore. Times so are changing. Times are changing. Yes. It's up to me. So I can show you a, right. a timeline, right? Same way with work, went, learning to, to use computers. I was going to say that. People yeah, that absolutely. have never used computers yes. are like, I don't want to I can't those. blame you. Like, listen, I you don't have to learn them, but the world will pass you by exactly. if you're stuck in this old ancient exactly. philosophy. So, and that's what Grant so time, so time, Like I said, time is changing. Like I've, I've been into a gay club, right? And I'm not homophobic. You know what I'm saying? I have there's some things that like if you touch me or some shit like I'll probably wild it out. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, but that's yeah. anything. If I touch a random girl, yeah. right, like, right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? But you right now. My, could I get my dad to go in there real quick? Oh. Fuck no. See what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? In his era, his, in his era, like no, no, fuck that shit. You can't you know what blame saying? that. You so know like his his generation is gonna have to get weeded out eventually, yeah. so we can pro progress. Well, let me let me take the conversation a step further. So times are changing. We all agree about that, right? Do you believe that they're changing in the right direction? Meaning, are your grandparents necessarily wrong for believing, let's say, that white people are the are the enemy or vice versa? That's what the enemy or, is. <laughs> or, <laughs> or forever. Or homosexuals are, let's say, that, that lifestyle's not Honestly, good. I can't I can't say if it's right or not because the only it, because we're in it right now. I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. I actually don't give you know a fuck about what happens in the future. <laughs> no, I agree, but like, say for instance, all this shit happens, right? Whereas, what would you okay, teach let's your just kids? Say, let's just what say would you tell your kids? All right, let's just say hypothetical, and I hate to attack it. It's no offense to like, you know, yeah, the LGBT obviously. community. We're, we're just talking about say, a subject matter, yeah, right, right, subject. right? But let's just say LGBT community, right? Yeah, we're accepting them. They're marrying, and all that is great. Yeah. I'm all for it. Right, right. But let's right. just say, 10, 20... 50 years, years from now, right. it's all accepted and we can't reproduce. I can't, right now it's great because like, fuck that. Mm. We're people, we're humans. But if this, if every, all the, com all of the communities and all the world is all gay, we I can't mean, reproduce. So I, I can't say that it's wrong right now. I'm accepting it because this is it. Because it's you love mean, is love. It, 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 but I'm saying. It's extreme 
But I'm saying case. I can't say if it's right right now. Right. But I'm saying like no, I can't say if it's right in the future. But right now, it's like this is what it's it okay is. right now. It's okay right now. Maybe not later. Love is love. But at the same time, and let's say from 50, 100 years from now, what if us accepting this right now? Causes us not to reproduce, and there's not enough people. Like you know what I mean? Right. For uh, so I can't I, I say see what that. You're saying. So you know what I mean? I'll That's tell my I'm kids saying. to fucking treat people how you want to be treated, man. Yeah. If you want but love, that, or, yeah. you want love respect, man. But I'm just saying, like, give love and respect, man. Extreme. Like, like I, I, I always told myself, like, I would tell my daughter, and my, I'll tell my kids, like, like. They're gonna get the you, short end you, of the stick yeah, though. Sometimes you can, by, you by can do what the fuck you want, right? Yeah. But just know there's consequences. Mm -hmm. Like, right. dog, like my my dad always told me pay respect first, and if you don't get it, demand it. Right. Like, mm. like, like I as I always do, like I, I've That's always right. like your dad I, was a thug. Man, he, yeah, he literally, he's still <coughs> literally. Come on, man. No, I no, understand it. He no, 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 friends, bro. no, I understand <laughs> it. I understand <laughs> it. That's what I'm saying. But, but, said that to me before like, you even met you guys, though. So, 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 like I. Like, dude, just like I tell my kids, like, just give fucking respect. If if you if you get stopped by the cops, yes sir, no sir, mm. da, 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 play the game. Yeah, play the fucking game. But if he disrespects you, you better fucking die about it. Like, Doug, don't like I. I'm one of those people. Like, I give respect first. So if you disrespect me, you already know I'm coming for you. Right, 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 right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So there should be no reason for you to disrespect me, yeah. because I'm always. And if I don't fuck with you, I just don't talk to you. Yeah. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yo, so, what you were just saying, um, play the game, it, it reminds me of this this uh, show that I've been watching on Netflix about the dude's name is, I want to say, Khalil Browder. I don't know. Khalil, if I, I heard know. that name. So White dude? This, what no. show is this? <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it's a show on Netflix. You know, so it's it's sure. Check, look this up real quick. Uh, that might have been like a Netflix. kid that got killed by the cops, right? No. So, no? You could say almost to that sense. What happened is he was arrested. He lived in New York, I think Brooklyn. Or um or the Bronx. Brooklyn, bro. He, so hold on, let, go let ahead, me go, go through this. And he was arrested for quote unquote being accused of stealing a backpack, mm. and he was sent to Rikers as a seventeen or a sixteen year old kid. Charged as an adult. And yeah, you know, just sent in Rikers, uh, sent yeah. to Rikers at sixteen. Wow. And Rikers, if you you know if you're familiar with uh, the United States laws, you have the right to a speedy trial. Mm -hmm. But in that. Uh, borough of new york there's so many th you know crimes and so many so much shit to Jeez, deal with man. for lawyers there are a lot of loopholes in your rights to a speedy trial which is a constitutional right but there are a lot of loopholes that are uh manipulatable by the government and they took advantage of so many of those and he ended up being in prison at rikers which is arguably one of the most dangerous prisons in the country sure. for three years before even seeing before his trial even completed, mm. this was just for being accused of stealing a backpack by a person that the DA couldn't even produce for trial because he went back to Mexico. Bro, did you like mm. take law classes over the weekend or something? <laughs> nah, nah. Hey, no, no, it was really interesting to me because he was a 16-year-old. This is a kid, man. You know, I have two sons. And I've been 16, and I yeah. remember what it was like to be 16. We've all I, been 16. You know, exactly, dude. And, like, I, every now and then I come across, you know, like, at wrestling practice or basketball to 16-year-old kids, and they're just kids. So to put some kid that's 16 years old in Rikers prison for three years, the most violent, one of the most violent prisons in the country, for being accused of stealing a backpack to me is fucking blasphemy. And not even is he, not even the fact that you sent him there, but the fact that you have... You know, grown ass adults that represent our government doing everything they can to keep him there just to cover their own ass. Mm. Because when they start creating loopholes, knowing that they can't prove he's guilty and trying to offer him plea deals that he rejects and they're doing all these things, the only motive they have is, oh shit, it can't look like I made a mistake. Mm. So they're doing yep. everything they can to cover their fuck up and literally yeah, sacrifice, sacrificing yeah. his it's all money. life. They're it's sacrificing his life yeah, and they man. did because. Uh, he was in prison for I think three years. Se in, three years. Hold on, a thousand, a thousand days, days, right? Over a thousand wow. days, and s over seven hundred of those days were in solitary confinement. Yeah, two Damn, Damn. Yeah. Crazy. dude! And I think the world, oh, I think the myself. world, wow, like the I'm world police, whatever. What is it? The Geneva Convention or some shit that kind of like uh, regulates how wars are fought. Mm -hmm. That agrees that any kind of solitary confinement over fourteen mm -hmm. days. Is considered um, inhuman. torture, inhuman yeah. torture, wow. and he was he went he went through that as a kid for seven hundred days. It's Finally, 
It's actually Hold scientific on. proven. Dude, finally, yeah, I'm they let him out. Nuts, bro. F- dude, that, and to me, bro, I'm just like, fuck, I wish I was a little older and more connected. Can I have one too, please? A little older and more connected with shit when I was over 18 and I could have had a chance to speak up or had social media and, and shared it, liked it, went yeah. to a rally, whatever I could have did to help this because it's one of the most fucked up things I've ever seen, man. Yep. You know, like a mother's son, you know, their baby, their 16-year-old yeah. son was taken from them and he went through shit that none of us pr- would probably go through and make it out, you know, over somebody protecting their fuck up. You know what but I'm saying? But you know what? That shit happens every day, bro. Yeah, Freddy, fuck what, that dude. Well, crazy. what makes it crazy, what, what I thought was <laughs> the craziest is as a kid, throughout that three years, he was offered multiple pleas and they said, listen, man, all you got to say is you did it and you're sorry and you can go home today. And he's every like, day. nope. And he's getting abused by the prison guards in there, getting fucked up, getting jumped, you know, in se- like in so seg, crazy. just the absolute most horrendous life that you could think of. And he's just like, I won't admit it. Like, it, I didn't that's not do what it. He did. He I wouldn't do it. Do it. And that's, you got to think, though. Real dim. I, I got to say, like, I try to do stuff in paper. Whatever. I like to say that I, I'm sure. tough and I have integrity. Nah, bro. But I, if I'm going through that, man, and I'm worried about getting raped every day, my face is getting slashed and I'm getting jumped. And you I'm tell me that, Hernandez and you tell me that, hey, there's no probation okay. or anything. All I got to do is say, I did for real. Sorry. I'm going home. No, if I'm get if I'm dealing with that shit, I'm just killing myself. I'm yeah, like, what the fuck? Yeah. But imagine, imagine no, if the court, I mean, I'm looking at it into different. a monster but at that the, point. Yo, if the court's yeah, telling yo, you, hey, you, you can go home I'm today, all you gotta that. say is you're sorry that you did it. Are you saying it? No, 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 no I, I am. Honestly, I've been like that since a kid. My mom used to revere that. It's like, tough, my man, mom used to have, revere that in me. I'm, like, I, I, I don't can't even do think, that. I don't even right. think we can speak on being in that situation because we haven't been so you there. Give no, up your, you give up know. your principles? I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, I'm telling you right now. Said, as a, oh, go sorry, ahead. Sorry. It said that he was in prison for three years. At one point, he got into a fight with a gang leader in the prison. Wow. And between protection and getting into a fight with a gang leader, they put him in solitary confinement for two years. <laughs> Anything over 14 days, Fuck, like man. like Josh said, is inhuman by the World Health Organization. Yeah. So oh, two, that's why babies need to but be now, swaddled and shit. Because Josh, you, I don't know, I don't know if you know, but two years after he got released, he hung himself from an air conditioner. Yeah. Mom that's house. it. Exactly. Dead, I'm dead serious. And that's a hundred percent. And that, that was up. when like, he was home. Say, that say, was after he got out, bro. Yeah, two years later. After, but think just about all that damage. So think, but just think about this, man. Every day, every day, you're getting jumped, threatened to be raped. You're locked in a box by yourself, like. I like to think that... He wasn't that, convicted. Dude, he was never convicted. He, he didn't accused. do... He, he yeah. Accu- you know, uh, f- accused of stealing a backpack. Bro, that's all it was. Like, Honestly, but they I, say... I, hey, I had a cousin that's that got out of jail, bro. And he told me... I just think that 99... I think 99% of that's people... All he knows? Or? Sign it and say, I'll go home. I'll say, I'm sorry. It was simple. I don't, I don't think... Four out of Structured. five people have the integrity and say it just, it just depends what he's facing. Because if he said he did it and he was going to face another twenty five years for that bullshit, if whatever. he said he did it, if he was, if he said he was, did it, was, it was like years, I'd be like, you know, no. what? fuck it, I'll no, 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 if he said, if he bro. Said if he said he, he did it, he left that day like, from that the courthouse, bro. Wow. But he wouldn't admit from the fault. courthouse. He's he in front of the fault. judge. They say, here that's are your real. options. That's real. If you say, I gotta respect that. If I you get say you did it, respectable. Hold on. I'm gonna tell you straight up, like, fuck. if that, fuck, fuck, yo, I'm dying for my principles. Like, I, I don't even I, think. That's fuck G- it, no, 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 I respect that to the point. If I can leave, if I can leave, yeah, exactly. If I can leave right, I don't know how to just say I did it. I know I'm. I stand by my principles, but honestly, I'll be. I'll just be like, I like. Trust me, you're in a box for a year. I love to say I fucking did it because I already know this. I would love to say that. I'm not gonna win. This regardless, I don't think right. that I could. So and if, I don't think I know I anybody. Right I, 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 no, bro, I've got so many ass whooping over shit like like that. Yo, like, but let me ask. No, no, no. I know it's. A, I know it's. Right. I know. I know it's completely different. Have you gotten your ass whooped by six gang members and had your face slashed? And have you just had a? I've been a, stabbed nine times. But hold on. But have you like been in that situation knowing that tomorrow nobody's protecting you and it's probably happening again? I listen, man. I I'm I don't, going through I, that. I don't have a. I don't have that that much of. I was raised differently from a lot of people. Yeah. I understand. And, and I respect that. And, and like, but I got convictions. Yeah, like I was raised differently. I, I was I was raised around people that that stood their ground on what they believed. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And that's, that's like I could never look my father in the face. Like even like even snitching. Like I have a real strong policy on that. Right. I'm not in that life anymore. You see me? I'm in work attire. I work a nine to five. But at one point, I lived under that law. You get what I'm saying? Hey, can we focus so, in on his uh, attire? So, no, <laughs> I, like, I don't live that life, but at one point, I did live that life, right? Yeah. I still have those values, and I, I would instill those yeah. values in my kids. 
Mm-hmm. Because there's nothing wrong with standing on standing your ground for what you believe in. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of people die, like, like a lot of people don't stand for anything. Mm-hmm. And it means like fall for yeah, and it really means you will fall Yo, for you anything. You sound like a Kaepernick Nike ad right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it means you will fall stand, for anything. But that's real. But I once lived in a place. I once lived in a place that's called Lockwood Plaza, right? Have, at one point, it was a heavily drug traffic neighborhood, right? And gang task force ripped that place apart, right? Admittedly, I was selling weed. Wasn't selling crap like the rest of my friends, but because you were a certain age, they, you're on pink papers. Everyone, everyone. So I can get harassed as much as I want it by the police. Kind of like the uh, stop and I frisk want, law that yes, they used to have. I once jumped off the porch and was like, "Oh, this is a nice sunny day. Let me go hang out into a police officer's arms." Mm-hmm. And he was like, he threw me against my wall, searched me, and was like, "All right, you can go." Get harassed every day. Hmm. My thing is, is like, yo, at the end of the day, I understand that because I, I grew up under that same law. My brother right. sold drugs. Is, I never really did all, that. I, I sold crack for a I mean, out of the four of us, we all grew up in the hood. Just, we all grew up, yeah, that. absolutely. We all grew up, we all grew up in it. But to be honest, in, in that situation, if they're telling me yeah. that I can leave right now if I admit fault, I know it's principles, and I don't fault anybody for sticking by it, but dead ass. I'm fucking saying I'm a dead. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Guys, it. remember that's just me. Right. No, and I agree. Hey, and I don't fault anybody. I, so what if I, I, I don't, give it to you really just because don't. you know you, you're, you're I'm real? I'm that's you. I'm keeping it 100. Right. And you, you can call me a exactly. bitch. You can call right, me whatever. Right, 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 but if yeah, I can right. get out today and just say I did it, and I will deal with those. No, 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 I've never been to jail. I've never one step foot in the jail. I'm not dealing with that. So so like, I can tell. Yeah, right? No. Thank you. Thank you. You can tell by your sweater. Tell by that Thank you. Tire. <laughs> tire. I appreciate that cotton it. sweater. No. But to say Work if I did it. it so well. <laughs> but to say I did it. But how do you like, It depends on the time. Love, Honestly, it depends on the time. If I say I did it and I just got to do a year, fuck it. Because this shit is not for us anyway. But to say I didn't do it and did with 10 to 25 years, my nigga. Well, like, here's come on, bro. the exact situation I'm was. Not with that shit. Here were his options. Fuck it. It's not set up for us. Hold on. His options were. Hey, say you did it and you've already been here for three years. Say you did it, apologize, you have no record, we're like we're good. I or, get I'm it. So, and you go home today, right now, you un- we uncuff you and you go with your mom, or demand your trial and face up to 15 years. And he that's said, every So that's the same thing that Meek Mill went through. But hold right? on, hold on, man. He said, and Every fucking monster he said, out there. He said, you Okay. Do it anyway. No matter no, what, you've been in jail. You're never going to get another good job again. He said, What's, it, Yeah, he said, you know Okay, I'm, I'm going home. And I I believe in what the fucking psychiatrists and these doctors said was that oh, yeah. he's part of like the point one percent that would just say no I didn't do it like I'm I'm I going home it. right there I'm going no home. no and listen I don't fault him the person would yes I yeah. get him I get him hundred percent and I and I give him the utmost respect but if I'm in that situation I'm, I'm going, going to home. Fuck home I'm going home because I'm everybody's going, going home right there. Right there. I'm going yeah. to fuck Everybody's going home. I'm not going home. Nobody and, spent, no, and I respect it. <laughs> I respect it. But here's the thing, too. It's like, because I, it's I respect, not set up for us, regardless respect, of the you fact. You know, like, what you're saying and what you're saying is that, hey, it doesn't matter. I'm going. But I, I'm going to give you a different it's, perspective. I get it. It's really I get tough. It. I'm one of those Hold people, on. like, if you, if you lie on me, we can, I'm fucking crying. We can crying. have all the perspectives we want. Like, Things change when you're dealing with that how, shit. How about this? Like, the CIA even says when they're training people and they put them through these, you know, torture simulations, that no matter how long, everybody cracks. No matter how long you go with this torture, eventually you're gonna yeah, give up your country. Crack, Everybody cracks. It's just a how like how, how long. long you put last? it this way: Listen, and he lasted three years. Hey, look, you know what? I'm I a veteran. It. I would have fucking gave my life for this country. I would have gave my life for fucking principle. Shit that I don't even respect. know. If somebody told me, "Hey, look, go over that fucking hill and shoot that motherfucker," I would have done it. That's not even knowing. Different. Not even knowing what. Hold That's on. Very what, hold on. I'm gonna wrap it around. Not even knowing what that motherfucker did. Yeah. I don't even. I'm just but trusting. They told you do it I'm just trusting that you know what you're talking about. I don't yeah. even know. I'm about to shoot this fucking family up. I'm about to kill this little kid. I'm about to, little and, kid. And I, yeah, and you I've have been a daughter, there, right? I've pointed my fucking weapon at a fucking family before in the Middle East. That's rough. So what? What I'm saying is that if I'm willing to do that out of principle, out of mm. just fucking principle, right? Yeah. But there's you million, better fucking believe yeah, that. But there's I, millions it, of people I, that join the military. I'm going down. I'm going down, man. There's I'm millions of people that the fucking cross. There's millions of right people there. that join the military that don't. I, if I'll that. do that overseas, I'll definitely do it in this fucking country. Here's my question: You have and a daughter, right? I'll give you the Freddie, I'm gonna. I want to paint it in a real picture. You have a daughter. Yeah. So if you're in prison, right, and they say Jay, you have two options. One is you never see your daughter again, and you die in prison, or dying in prison, or you say you stole the backpack that you didn't. 
Nope. Bro, his, his if daughter, I didn't do it, I guarantee, I'm dying I guarantee in prison. And, and a long run, his daughter will appreciate that his, her father stood for something. Exactly. Absolutely not, bro. Absolutely not. I have two kids, and I would, also, I would I like that. Appreciate exactly. No, I know, every kid I, I in the world, I, every but, kid in the world but, would resent but, their father but, for not taking an army. Well, It'll take depends. an army to take me down on my principles. Well, it depends. sounds good. In that, in that no, situation, well, that's, that's in that real. situation, the two has years nothing to do with the whiskey I drink. <laughs> the two years of solitary caused him to. Cause Didn't you get his banned death? from mm-hmm. Twin Rivers? He killed himself anyway. Two yes. years later, he died. She's gone. She's out of her life. He killed, he killed himself anyway. <laughs> so it just depends. Point, if you if you brought your daughter up in that aspect to understand the principle and everything, then she'll appreciate it. But, but not she grew up father ever. No, it just depends. If you never taught your daughter that, if you were never around, if you were never around to teach your daughter about the principle and whatever, and you hearing your and she's hearing her her mom saying, you know, if he just did this, whatever. It just depends. There's a lot of factors. Not only would every kid I, choose I, I, to have their father with them, yeah. they would be better off having their oh, father with them. I'm not. I'm not going to disagree it all that depends. that a father is needed in, in yeah. any situation of a, of a family. Yeah. But if my daughter is coherent enough or, or understands enough what's going on, if she and, knows enough, and, 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 no, but I'm putting there's visitation, motherfucker. And that's the problem. If your wife, if your girl, if your girl's not telling her about that, if your wife is if your wife is saying that like yeah, babe, so, like so my your son your my your father won't get out of jail because he won't admit to some shit. I'm related, just, I'm the problem, to Jimmy, the I'm only related, problem I'm related, I have that with that depends. situation is I have kids and I would never ever say that my you know like my my principles and my ego and my integrity is more important but wait, than hold on. giving them. You just them put principle and ego on the same level, and that's not the same level. Okay, I'd rather right, look. So I'd rather go integrity. to my let daughter say, on me, some real shit. I'd rather go to my daughter and be like, listen, I didn't do some shit. I know I didn't do some shit, but I know that you need me here. Exactly. I'm going to take that, that fall just so I can be in your life. So it just depends. This is, this is, this is, this is even if I didn't have a daughter, I would still be like, it's nah, it's but it's kind of in the same vein. Yeah, so, like, right, so, so listen, really so like, when I was younger, right, I missed my, I, I never really got to grow up with my father. My father was in jail for seven years on, in the peak points of where I needed him, right? So yeah. keep going. I never, I never <laughs> hated my father because my mom always let me understand why my father was the way he was, right? So, like, he, oh, she always talked to me. She was like, yo, your father was a straight-A student. Your father and your, and your uncle. But life happened, and he did what he felt he needed to do to survive. And because my mom and my dad were best friends, right? He was, she would always tell me, like, yo, your father's not the greatest father because he didn't have his father. And I can see that in him now. I can see some of the and things. And you understand. Like, yeah, I, I, me being, me growing up and understanding, like, yo, like, shit's not black and white, bro. Right. Like, there's gray areas. Like, knowing that my uncle, he did what he had to do because my my grandmother couldn't afford for him to go to college, and he got put in this lane versus this lane. You know what I'm saying? The, everything's not black and white, but I still stand, like, still stand on the principles because of, of those principles because I had uncles. I had, I have, they taught me this game. They didn't want me to live this life. And to a degree, I did. I told a different path. I think there's something very admirable about somebody, whether they're right or wrong. Yeah. Forget the fact that whether they're right or wrong. On their Standing on their principles. It takes some huge fucking balls. It takes a, an amount of courage that a lot of people probably would fold under. And I, me, myself, and I, maybe this is something wrong with, the let's say, the, the newer generations. This is me aging myself, where honor is no longer... A you know an 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 admirable attribute or uh, characteristic like people don't they don't even give a fuck like it's not even something even talked about I don't think that's honor true. nobility so loyalty like but those will, things that are intangible but I will say regardless of the fact Ooh, like my fucking I will say I will admit some shit I will say I will just fall and I will, and I will admit to some shit or even if I didn't do it but when it comes to snitching that's a whole different factor. I just want to reiterate that. Why? Like, Let because, me ask you why. Because that's a whole. Because you know what life your style you're getting yeah. into. Well, and because and you're now, involved, somebody, now it's actually, a whole other Somebody family. else is dealing with the repercussions of your else word. Right. With it. So, and I knew what I'm getting into. I'm not snitching. L- that's let me ask different. You. So, if it's just me, on. then what the fuck? Like yeah. you know what I mean? I'll deal with my own consequences. But if I gotta live with the backlashes of him, him and him, my best friend or whatever, or whatever the case is, my gang, whatever, I'm not snitching because I knew the code when I got into it. But if it's just me, and if I got to deal with the repercussions by myself and my family, then I'll just deal with that. But if it's a whole different, if, if there's a chain, I'm not snitching I on anybody, I think there's a bro. definite 
not admirable snitching. side to what you're saying in, in, right. in your point. You're saying, you know, if it's me, who gives a fuck? You're willing to I'll sacrifice. Do I'll do it. You're sacrificing for your own, you know, for your own. I get that. I, right. I respect that. You know what when I'm saying? When it comes to other families and snitching, not Right, doing. right, right, right. I understand that. But... <sighs> I'm not wrong with Stitcher, man, as long as you have some All right, so, <laughs> we all agree. That dude had some balls. Nobility is good. Mm-hmm. Honor. You know, your word is your bond. At the end of the day, if you want to get out, get out. I'm fuck getting that. the fuck out. I'm getting out. <laughs> hey, 99.9% <laughs> of the people are getting out. That, I think it's yeah. insane that 40% of the people in this room are... Sticking to their principles and That's saying true. it wasn't me. Hey, man, I um, never said the right thing. <laughs> hey, bringing us to the next point in a very yes. um, not smooth segue. Um, <laughs> we did talk about it a little earlier, you know, like police brutality. I think you mentioned it up. Okay. Quick shout out. Kaepernick, bro. Kaepernick just got an obscene amount of money because Is the it NFL. Obscene? Do we know it? Eh, it's like north of 60 mil from what I've been reading. It's, it's between 60 and 120 something. Exactly. Wow. And what that is, for anybody that doesn't know, obviously, Kaepernick is. The you know NFL player that started the whole like kneeling during the anthem to mm-hmm. stand up against police brutality and right. people wait didn't was he like the it. one that started it yes. or was he the one that he became he famous was. for it? But he was who knows? Best. I think he started it. Yeah. Even if he didn't, he was the most outspoken about it, yeah. and he's the one yep. that brought it to light, whether it was directly or indirectly. But the nice, I mean, people have their different opinions on whether it's right, whether it's offensive, is it not offensive? Who's offended by it? Does it matter? Mm-hmm. It doesn't but really matter who's it, offended. It, uh, it, it, what's really nice. Point. Is that at the end of the day, his suit against the NFL was for a very specific thing, and that was collusion amongst owners to not sign him to do something that he was actually qualified to do. Yes. And this settlement shows, I I think, proves without a doubt, even though I always agree with Kaepernick, that there was collusion because they're not settling and giving in. I mean, you can see that in the Seahawks alone because the Seahawks was about to sign him and they were like, and they said it, and they said it. They were like, if as long as there's no drama, we will we will sign you. And you already know this drama. What do you mean? You know what what the fuck? Everybody's trying to protect their paycheck. That's what it is. So that's that's why that's not right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You know what the problem is? Is that in the NFL? When you're an organization, like uh, if you own the Patriots or you own the Seahawks or you own the Cowboys, mm-hmm. you don't really make any more money than another owner. That um, there's an agreement that they have where, excuse me, uh, like jersey sales mm-hmm. and shit like that. That doesn't matter to the owner. They don't see that kickback. That's NFL money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So having well, Kaepernick, even though he probably brings a lot of publicity and his jerseys are going to sell more than a lot of other NFL players. That doesn't matter to an owner because you're not seeing that money. All you're right. dealing with is the headache of managing, you know, Media, the people that are offended by him yeah, and the people yes. that are not offended by him and trying to put out that storm all the time. Yeah. So they really have no pros to signing him other than getting an average, I think, you know, quarterback. Mm-hmm. He's not terrible. He could start for some teams, but he's not, you well, know, he's not in the backup. Yeah, he's not. I mean, I think quarterback. he's well. He could he, definitely he, be a backup. He's yeah, definitely he's adequate enough to be backup. a quarterback. In yeah, a hundred. Yes. He's he's yes. an NFL caliber quarterback. There's no doubt about that. With oh, what I, I don't. I'm not the biggest sports. I'm not not sports. Yeah. But NFL the fan, only but yeah. reason he's not playing is because it was literally owners so much drama. texting each other they saying, "Hey, let's just all agree to not sign this guy." Which they don't want to touch up. him, and that's why he won this lawsuit. But I'm, you know, I'm happy oh, he's right. getting the dough. And um, I mean, obviously, I, I hate to say obviously because I'm looking at y'all and y'all are black. I'm going to assume <laughs> that you were cool with what Kaepernick was standing yeah. up for. Absolutely. I mean, you know what? I will. I will say though, I had like a, a lot of backlash because at first I was saying. Being a very avid sports fan, I was just like, "Yo, because he's an NFL guy." I'm, a, I'm, I'm really for NFL. I love the sport. I love everything it brings, right? And I got a lot of backlash because of the fact that I was like, "Yo, if you're gonna do that shit, like, do it in another aspect. Like, people just want to watch football, right? It's for the people." But then people were like, "Yo, like," and then I saw, and that's when I dialed back because people were like, "Listen, Ali did the same shit, and he stood up for our people." Mm using what he did and I was like you know what though and I and and I'm one of the biggest persons like if I'm wrong I'm gonna say I'm fucking wrong it is what it is Mm. and that's why I came back on the next episode I was like you know what I apologize because at the same Mm. time I was like if you are that person of that stature use your platform because if you're just a fucking I don't know fucking Canadian football player nobody's gonna fucking really listen to you why did why what what changed your mind why'd you change your mind because it was real like on some real like uh, use because if Ali wasn't as popular as he was maybe he wouldn't have changed that whole speculation of going to the draft and whatever the case is but like he used that platform to speak up on about I find it interesting that you you didn't 
you didn't default to, well, Ali was wrong too. You know, we're like, mm. oh shit, if he did it, then Kaepernick is also right. Well, let me, yeah, let me, let me ask that this. aspect. I was like, if you What did Ali that, change? Did, did Ali I'm, I'm affect sure. change? No. But there was, so, just that ex, there was just that example. But there was more to it than that. I can't really remember. But what I'm trying to really like hone in on is that if you're that person, if you're higher up and you have that opportunity, people are watching you use that use that stance and make a change. Yeah, you you know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to listen to you if you're just a fucking AAF uh, player. See, I, I'm, or, a, I'm a critic of that stance know, only because, and I appreciate, I really do, what, what you're saying. Right. However, I, I really believe that Man, I just lost my train of thought. I'm in a place for it. Yes. And, and that's what I was saying. Because I was like, I'm watch football. I'll come back to that. No. His, I think okay. Jay specifically says the time that people oh, are wait, honoring I, falling soldiers is not the place to put your protest in. Well, let, let, let me put it in, this, in, in, in these terms. So sometimes people lose the audience by their delivery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Depending on how they deliver a message, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. totally lose an audience. That's true. And I believe, this is my personal opinion, Absolutely. that Cap lost uh, a majority, maybe not a majority, a large part of an audience mm -hmm. because of the way it was delivered. Agreed. But I I'm not saying whether that his message was that. incorrect did, or what correct. He did, but what he did worked more than anything. Yeah, it's sort of. I, I mean, hold on. Like, like, it hold wasn't on. never. About Let me the just flag. make this point really fast. It's sort of like so. Like I, you know, if you go on YouTube, you can watch the changing of the guard. There's a guard that 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 uh, protects the tomb of the unknown soldiers in Washington D.C. Literally 24/7. He marches 21 steps back and forth, guarding these tombs. And it's a big military uh, patriotic thing when they do the changing of the guard, when somebody right. relieves this guy of his duties, et cetera, et cetera. However, they ask during this ceremony that everybody please be quiet and please stand. It's just out of respect, mm -hmm. right? It's out of respect. So I would think at that moment would be a bad time to stand up for your beliefs okay. but and interrupt the ceremony and I guess along those lines, I, that's where I go with so, Cap. So, so I had this talk with, with an Asian American guy at work, and he would pretty much the same sentiment. Like, stand the fuck up for right. the flag, right? Um, there's a lot of different. There's a lot like in school. There was people that didn't believe in whatever it was and could sit down, right? I st I stand on like I don't think kneeling is a problem. Like right. disrupting someone else from them receiving whatever the national anthem gives them is the fucking problem so if, because, i if agree if with Cap, you 100 percent was the fucking be doing cartwheels and and bat flips and laughing and joking while the national anthem i would get upset right like i'd be like oh shut the fuck up because i love when the well the land of the free right, the right, home right. of the break like i love that shit i'll i'll stand up for that shit yeah you know what i'm saying it actually does something to my spirit right, right. you know what i'm saying but him kneeling bro if a lot of people don't even know, he got the idea from because at first he was sitting. Oh, Correct. war vet, a marine, one of the most high revered part right. of. And I don't of, know if I believe that narrative only because that came out so late in the game right. when it when when Cap was accused and all this whole controversy. All of a sudden, it, it seemed you, like all of a can sudden you find out when but, that out of nowhere that happened, George. But. But, Here comes this vet that, yeah, right. and even when if he did, did, vet and Kaepernick have that conversation. But I will well, say this: though, well, let me just, he was sitting at first, and then the vet wrote to him and was like, "Yo, if you want to do that, Neil, because all, all I'm saying is that I believe that there's a, a a specific time and place. Meaning, Colin Kaepernick, he's a he's a celebrity to some degree. Kids look up to this kid, right, or this guy, or this quarterback, or whatever you want to call him. He could have." sent that message a different way where he would have gained let's say a lot more and that's uh I don't not acceptance have, but i'm saying and i agree with that i'm saying from, I, from the right from the right leaning part of the country but right but listen a lot of people would have been like all right this guy's right you know and i and, I, and this is what i agree with at the time but the reason why i changed my mind is because what better platform though because it's like there at the no. same time at the same time, you fought for him to do that, though. You know what I'm saying? As a war right. veteran, for him to have that speech and for him to do what he is doing. But I think we're you know not talking... I mean? As a veteran. We're not talking but, whether it's right or whether he can right. or not, but whether it's... 
see, my my issue is whether it's distasteful or not. So, mm -hmm. let, let, but he didn't do it. Let, let, that, that's the issue right there. Let's look that's at Timothy issue. McVeigh. Timothy McVeigh Hold blew on, up stay, the federal building. Real quick, I know, I am. Yeah. Timothy McVeigh blew up the federal building in Oklahoma City to prove a point. That's what all terrorists do, right? Mm -hmm. Do they have to go to that extreme to prove a point? Yeah, you're comparing. You're comparing. You know, no, no, no. Totally you're comparing uh, apples to uh, oranges, bro. Uh, hold on. That's wait, wait. That's a I'm, horrible I'm being comparison. extreme to prove a point, saying that, that's not that the extreme, person though. that's trying to sell the narrative does it give them the right to to sell that narrative in any time, at any place, at any cost? So that's that's the thing. what I'm you're saying. dismissing. You're dismissing a play of people by that. Right. This is this, this is the reason why I had a problem with anybody that that gets upset on what he did. Yeah. It's it's if he if he would have been violent on it, yeah. oh, he's a fucking monster. Absolutely. Right. You would have had people would have had a problem with him protesting anyway. Right. Fucking do it how you want to do it. All he did was and kneel. He, he did, all he did was kneel. That's that. He you, didn't you, stir up any you, drama. You, your best, he didn't do your, no the people's best For what he's kneeling for, right. your best bet is a nonviolent protest. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm, I'm going to tell you firsthand. So I stood in front of uh, prisoners of war yeah. that had their fucking limbs broken mm -hmm. for this country, for the flag, for whatever. And I, the same, I respect the same that. Reason well, that just let me finish my point really okay, fast. Go ahead, buddy, I, buddy. I, I, I understand them being sensitive to the fact mm -hmm. that during the national anthem somebody is com uh not I don't want to say committing is uh, executing a gesture that could be interpreted as disrespecting what this person broke their limbs for mm. meaning mm -hmm. so like these guys that were that were that were uh, giving us the speech they had their arms tied behind their back and when they were being questioned and they didn't answer properly the enemy would raise their arms, being tied behind mm -hmm. their back, to eventually their shoulders snapped. Mm -hmm. Right now, that's a painful thing, and I'm not. I'm not trying to just you know hone in on the emotional part of it, but I'm mm -hmm. trying to uh, maybe to those that really don't understand, or have ma maybe never never served, or have never sacrificed for mm -hmm. uh, a larger entity beyond their family. Um, I mean. You you can imagine. I'm sure you can relate yeah, to the fact that, that yeah, like, Man, hey, look, understandable. I, I snapped my fucking shoulders. I gave up fucking f years of my life but to do same, this. But just, I, that's, I, that's the media spinning that. Yeah, but no, I mean, no, that's, that's real life. That's, no, that's, that's not, no, that's the media spinning the the narrative of uh, of why and how he was, uh, or why and how he he came to that conclusion of kneeling, right? If the media wasn't saying this is wrong, uh, most of America wouldn't give a fuck that. They wouldn't even know that he was doing that. They wouldn't give a fuck. And, and even when it came out that, even when it came out, right, it's all about money to why the, before, from, from what I remember, before it wasn't mandatory for you to be on the field for the national anthem. Yeah, there was money involved. That's why all the players are now on the field for the national anthem. Correct. Right? right, right? right, right. So, even even let's, that, that let's forget about the money for a second. You go to you go to an Asian country and let's say mm -hmm. it's customary to to bow when you're doing business with somebody. Yeah. Do you bow? Yeah. Of course you do. And that's that, that that's what I'm talking about. But if about. you don't, but, but, that's, if, but that, that's you. But if you don't believe, but I mean, it's different though because America fights for the fact for we fight for the Constitution. That's our whole stick. That's <laughs> ours, like freedom of speech or freedom of whatever. You get the right to believe. In those countries, well, maybe it's not that. Well, so if you a, bow, if you don't, I'm sorry, if you don't bow, you get your head chopped off. But that's to them. Well, in a I am country, not arguing. Uh, in a country whether, where the KKK can still assemble. Right. I, and they're, well, they're, they're homegrown I am not, I, I am <laughs> not, I am not, I am not, point of, I am just off of the point shit. of, I'm 150% not arguing saying whether he's right or wrong. Right. I'm saying whether, it, in your opinion, whether it's it, it's distasteful or um, or or not, and I, I, mean, and, and, I and, and I guess and I, I think somebody that's of celebrity status could use a different platform. Doesn't you don't have but listen he's to get an your NFL player to get your point yeah, across? Hold on, hands. wait, hold on. I've been quiet to, for a long time. To, <laughs> to get your point across, you yeah. do not have to offend the veterans of this country. But he didn't. That, that's he, my. He didn't. That's not offensive. Oh, I mean, he, he, I mean, all right, so he, he you did. can't tell you can't tell them that they're wrong. So that's the thing. I, I, I get it. Spinning, spinning that, to that, spinning that. They spun that so that they can hate him. He might have a case. I 100 percent agree. Let me. Hey, like, let me I, totally, yeah, I've, yeah, I've listened for a long time. No, no, no. Take it over your podcast and shit. No, 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 bro. Chuck, this is not right now. This is our podcast. Let's this is not it. my podcast. <laughs> that's right. Um, but. Uh, 
to say I what it. I understand what what Jay is saying, you know, like mm-hmm. th- there's a time and a place for it, and it could be construed as offensive. And what you're saying is, I get everything. To me, the big thing is if my son comes, say I'm I'm talking, with, I'm trying to, you know, give a little bit of analogy. I teach my kids don't interrupt me when I'm talking to an adult. Mm-hmm. If I'm t- sitting here talking to Jay, mm-hmm. and my son is telling me, "Hey, Dad, I need you to tie my shoe," I'm gonna be like. Do you see me talking? Like, don't interrupt me right now. Like, this can wait. But if my son tells me, hey, Carter just, Carter's my other son, just cut his hand. There's a lot of blood there. He interrupted me. So, hold on. Don't just. Okay. So, right. the delivery of his message is not correct because I'm talking to an adult and he's not supposed to do this. Okay. But the message he's telling me outweighs the delivery. It's more Word. important than that. Okay. So, I feel like when you're dealing with Kaepernick, okay. Did he offend some people? Fine. Was there a way that he could have done this better? Maybe. I don't think there was. But even if there was, the issue he's talking about should outweigh whether or not somebody's offended by how he's talking okay, about it. Okay, but let because, me say this. One sec, Freddie. Okay, go ahead, Brett. Because ultimately, he's speaking up against police brutality yes. to a, spif- a specific group of people, like killing blacks that's going unpunished. That's what he's talking about. You know, beating and killing blacks by police officers. Hold on. That's going unpunished. So if that's his issue, is that not what he's talking about? No, I, right. I was, I was going to so, say, telling the average person who, in our, in our living rooms, is not, hey, listen, you, you got to beef with the police? Go see the hold fucking on, no, police let me, let me chiefs. I want to expound on what let you're about to say. Yeah, me too. So, so what he's saying is too important to worry about whether or not somebody's offended by how he's saying yes. it. Yes. Mm-hmm. We should just deal with, you know what? he mm-hmm. What he's talking about does really happen. I don't care if you're offended by how he said it. We'll address that later. Let's focus on what's important yes, and sir. deal with the issue at hand. That's how I feel. Because well, later, I, like, later on, I'm going to say, hey, to my son, shit, I'm glad you told me that your son's hand, was, I mean, your brother's hand was bleeding. Mm-hmm. You picked a good time to interrupt us. Because w- that was more important than this right here. Exactly. So That's speaking on what he's saying, right? Agreed. 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 The, the validity of what he's saying and what Cap's trying to get across, and you're saying he could have picked a better place and a better time. The uh, What he is trying to paint a picture of and let you understand in the plight from black people, right. you're lucky we're not firebombing. Police stations. I think you're lucky you're not fucking. <laughs> but, what what, but what I'm trying to say is that's the lesser version of what can happen because history shows nothing has been pro- nothing has been moved in this country without blood and, sh- and bloodshed. Mm. Mm. People have had to die for us to progress forward. Wait, hold on. So there, there. I mean, when you say something like that, that's a pretty extreme. Bold but, but, statement. But, no, has, has, is, has nothing has has nothing. nothing in the history of this country Martin Luther King ever has been, died. Wait, wait, wait for, for, but, for, but you're talking about legislation. You're talking about. Um, I mean, for, I mean, if we're talking about the whole play of the platform he did it on, right? Think about the difference between how many people watch CNN news and right. how many people watch the Super Bowl. Right. What's a better platform? How many more people are you going to reach about police brutality and there needs something to be done? And I don't necessarily agree with that. However, I, me myself, I'm not saying the message itself is invalid. I'm not saying right, that. right, right. Understood. I'm saying the way it's delivered, you cut off a whole bunch of people. So if you're, so if you're, tr- here's what I'm saying. If okay. you're trying to sell a message, if you're trying to tell a message, if you're trying to convince a mass population of a certain ideology, I don't think offending. Half of them, or a third of them, or whatever, is a good approach. That's all I'm no, saying. No, I agree. I'm not saying that it's invalid. Agree. I'm not saying that, you know... I hear that. But at the same time, how much does it cost to get a Super Bowl commercial? Ah, that how is he ever going to mil- reach more people than the way he did? Even if he... If that's all Martin I'm Luther King listen, listen reached more second. people than Kaepernick Listen to me for a second. Very peaceful. Listen to me for a second. Peacefully and if, didn't offend a fucking person. But that was peaceful. Maybe, oh, except oh, for... Oh, 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 he offended people no, except for the extreme he got killed because he people. offended people right bro he but offended he anybody that was offended was by him. martin luther king has f- um like fundamental racism instilled in them and i feel like to an extent it's not that different with cap to be honest with you i'm, I'm gonna give you a a, a, a life example that I, I experienced so i went over to kuwait i was in kuwait for a while right send me a note over here 
Yeah, we gotta keep it moving. Oh, you gotta cut. <laughs> so right, I see. That's just that's just I gotta go home. <laughs> <laughs> I got pussy waiting. Listen, when, when I was in Kuwait, waiting. the local like nationals, the the local nationals of Kuwait, when Americans used to drive by, right? So now Americans liberated Kuwait from Iraq. When Iraq mm -hmm. took over Kuwait, we went in there and said, hey, fuck you, get the fuck out of Kuwait, whatever. Mm -hmm. So now when Americans drive in Kuwait, a lot of local nationals, the Kuwaiti people, spit on the ground when we drive by. Wow. Right? That's disrespectful. I mean, you gotta, you gotta think well, hold on, wait. We, we bombed their country for... Yeah. Imagine We're not innocent. I, I respect hold on, the wait, love wait, that wait, you're wait, in wait, the military. Imagine you, we, know, like, imagine you being a 12-year-old or a 13-year-old. So We've been bombing your country talk, for 15 years. Uh, if, if America... Gotta, if America... Well, hold on. If America... Throw fecal matter. If America was <laughs> controlled... If America was controlled by another country and some other country liberated us from their rule, would yeah, you not have respect for that country? But there's a difference between what you mm. think is liberation and somebody exactly. else's liberation. Yeah. You're, you're thinking, okay, we liberated Afghanistan. They now have their own government. They're supposed to run themselves. But, but in their eyes, boy, I'm 15 years old. This is, America this has killed my this is, grandfather, my yes, grandmother, my father, but, my brother. But yeah, you can't compare, let's say, the liberation of Kuwait with, let's say, something like Afghanistan because it was it's, it's fact that I, Iraq came into Kuwait and fucking took control. And they didn't. They didn't but want is it that. But the fact that it made it better, though. Well, I mean, that's, that's subjective. All, yeah, that's yeah that's subjective. Subjective. it's better. Subjective, like you're right. No, your no, no, I, I understand what you're saying. Is subjective. But liberation and is like, is did it make it better or did it not? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like we don't know. You, 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 you got to also to check your bias of being like, I went over there to do something because you're a vet. Yeah, and you're getting paid to. That's what it comes down to. No, 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 not even so much as that. No, no, so much as that. Your own bias is like, I went over there. You, you're told you're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right? No, I, I, and, I know where you're going with this. Like, you know what I'm saying? I agree. And you hope that you did the right thing. Right. But today, Based you know off of... For you to live forward, like, you have to believe that, right. like, what I did was... Right. Had a purpose. Right. But all right. those bombings could have had made those that country even worse. We don't yes. know. That's what I'm saying. It, yeah, is it the right thing? We know it's the right thing. Right 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 we know, dude. Is it? Is we know, it really man. The right we, we can if every single fucked up conflict, shit, every single war, we can if it to death. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, we got to assume to some degree that I guess what we're told is semi accurate to some degree. But that's assumption on our side. Right, right, right. We don't know about I have never been. If America sends a drone strike, so somebody pushes a computer button a thousand miles away and it kills my whole family. Fuck you! Like, how can you justify that to me? You'd be like, "Oh, we you liberated I mean? you, though." Yeah, you but liberated you me. How can my you, whole family. you know, like that guy was I tough. That guy that was ruling me before made my life kind of hard, but he didn't kill my family. Exactly. You know right. what I mean, what it you just did. Let me wrap this family. around, though. So, like, the, those local nationals that are spitting on the ground while Americans are driving by, I find that disrespectful, right? It is. Here's but the in Dubai, in Dubai, you and, get and, smacked. And, and I believe in, in my, in, I believe in my heart that, hey, look, you know what? You don't have to do that to get your point across. You know what I'm saying? There's a but different way of sending a message. But, you but know, that, that's the thing, though. You're, you're imposing what bro. you feel is what, what you feel is. You the know right what the big hold on, Udi, You know what the biggest right. prob, the right. problem? The biggest problem I see with that is that we don't know if there's a the biggest way. problem I see with that is is you're in another country. You know, going through your customs or your customaries, whatever you're doing. Right. They're spitting at the ground, and you find that disrespectful. But what's ironic to me is that if you're in your own country. That's very legal, and people have the right to do that. And yeah. you don't have the right to not be disrespected. Well, so if you feel disrespected in their to country... To me, being disrespected is being spit on. Bro, deal, no, with no, no. <laughs> deal with I'm, it. I'm you using know? your point saying... You have to deal with that. No, I, so. I'm totally using your point in the fact that saying, like, hey, look, these people are spitting on the ground while we're, while we're driving by. That is very... I don't know what my point was. No, no, I don't no, know. But I, 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 I hear what you're saying. No, 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 but I like, hear what you're saying. They are, but at the same time, but oh well, we, low you know, key, but low key though, that's still a like a a, a like a quiet protest. Like that's a, yes, dude. You know Nobody's what I'm saying? If hurt. he spit on you, if there was disrespect nah. to your family, you spit on me. I'm coming on you. You spit on, on the you. ground. Right. Yeah, it's disrespectful. But I'm not gonna fucking kill you for it. I don't give you a fuck. on the ground. Okay, I don't give a fuck, fuck what you. you say about yeah. me as long as you don't put your hands on me. Don't touch me. Well, don't touch how, how about this? It's you a, have it, rules it really in your depends. house. You yeah, take yeah, off really your shoes when you come in. Somebody doesn't do it. Well, I'm using real low-key low, low key fucking small example. Yeah. Somebody doesn't yeah, do the it. They just walk it. Right. But right. it's a house, bro. We're talking about a country. 
Like how much how much more can you claim? You I'm not claiming this land. Like Yo, I get it, but I'm not claim claiming. This, you can claim the planet apparently. Right? <laughs> my buddy Yo, sent me right. a If it's my home, I pay taxes on Yo, or whatever. Make and sure I have a right and I can go to court and whatever. I agree Kaepernick the has the total out. right to do what, what? he wants a to country? do. Whether I believe it's tasteful or not. That's a whole different subject. Ooh, I agree. Tasteful. And we can, yo, honestly, we tasteful. can go all day with it's this, It's just a bro. We can. I, 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 the, 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 ladder, the ladder is much, what, what, much more crazy. Nah, you know what yeah. the, the bottom line and is? And I guess that's where I was going with, Hulk, mm. with Kuwait. Because the fact that we liberated you is more important than the fact that you spitting on the ground. But we can't say we liberated you. I, I, I think that you. I, I really. <laughs> that, that was your point. I really. I really, I really think that, that, your that point. You're, you're, you're no, you're saying the message is more important than the fact that he's kneeling. I'm saying, you know what? The fact that we liberated your your whole fucking country from being ruled by Iraq is mm. more important. But than liberated, the again, liberating is subjective. Other people feel liberated is subjective. That's why I never said you're. That's why. That's why you may be. Well, to, I hear to you. Me, I hear to, really. to, to me, you may be wrong for the way that you feel about it, right? But you have all the right to to feel that way. He said you yeah. have the right to yeah. be wrong. I mean. Yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we're just throwing out opinions here. <laughs> nah, I agree, but we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't discuss Cody. a how, Cody. how they feel. Okay. We you can, can say disagree with me if you want to. I can't force you to be right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell us we live right So, 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 so yeah. better, to put it better, my boy always told me, like, and I always took this everywhere, I can't tell you you're wrong for feeling how you there feel. There you go. Oh yeah, no, we're discussing pi opinions about. Yeah, right, of course. Right. So but like, can, they're all respected. Like, but he, like, and people in Kuwait, you can feel that way as long as you know that you felt like you did the right thing. Yeah. That's fine. Let them fucking spit on the ground, but until they spit on you, then there's a problem. Exactly. All right, so let me. Uh, I just want to weigh in with this real quick. I, I want to say that I think Kaepernick did it in a somewhat distasteful way. To some people, I don't think kneeling is that you gotta, disrespectful. You gotta kneeling has always been a sign of respect. You kneel to kings, you kneel, you mm -hmm. bow. Not in that things. capacity, though. I get not when saying. you, not when the national anthem's playing. Kneeling True. is not a sign so, of respect. There's some people that <laughs> are but offended, and they, hey, are hold on, these people have the right to be offended. I think that. Me, right, you know, me personally, like I think they have yeah. the right to be offended, but like you right. said earlier, Absolutely. you don't have the right not to be offended either. Exactly. I think what he's talking about is a little more important. Either way, he won the money. You know what I'm saying? The NFL Bowling! was trying to pick him over. He's, Yo, did asking, he? he's asking for 20, 20 mil to join the, the AAF. Next, yeah, yeah, some, AAF. some weird football league. I'm like, bro, you're not getting but, um, here's Most the players guys. get is 250000 You're not getting I mean, how, much, how many jerseys are you going to sell? Come on, bro. Probably oh, he's gonna. But see, that's the thing. Yeah. He's gonna sell a Any lot. Any exposure, sell whether negative or positive, still, is good though. exposure. Well, but not twenty dude, million. You, you make so much so sense much. because you range. said earlier he could have did it in million. a different way. Right. And I think him reaching. If it was about money, he his, did it perfect. Well, hold on, Kaepernick. He's his still goal. Paid by Nike. Yeah. Uh, his goal was to reach more people, and I think the way that he did it. Reached more people than any other way he no, could. No, 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 no. You're wrong, though. I don't. His goal was not to reach more people. His goal was to reach people that are receptive. You don't know that. That's, that's the whole you're point of sending. I'm right, no, so no, 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 no. Yeah. So can Listen, we, that's the whole point of, so can of we, sending out a message. Nah, I think, I, think, I think his 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 his. You don't want to piss people off. off the people that it Yo, he All doesn't right. give a shit. What he did reached more people, and he got more supporters doing it the way he did than any possibility, any possible way he could have. And that's but what I'm saying is that, people that we thought could he have gained. More support. No, there's uh, no I way. Think I think he no, could. At the Super Bowl, four people he he had zero chance. He sacrificed his entire career. Hundred percent. I'm saying people yes, like me who are on the fence. You're never it, switching. Hold on. Wait, wait. Wait. Hold on. If he would have came about it a different way, no, on where? Like, on CNN. Not you, you, wait, wait. Three million are, best versus five hundred. Are you? Are, 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 are you Super saying that the, if there's he came no other podcast, way? Hold he on. Done if done there's no, there's no other way of sending a message other than offending. Offending a, a mass populace. Yes. I'm saying yes. I think he could have done it. But we don't know how much they offended yeah. and how much he reached. When the last know. somebody convinced well, it's you, it's true. It's it's hard to measure. When the last yeah. time somebody convinced you of something that you was dead set against. Um, well played, I, uh, sir. I mean, <laughs> if they already have that bias towards anybody of that color or anybody even right. anybody protesting during the national, anybody protesting during. Any type of sport. Let me say they're this. gonna have that regardless, even if he was completely. I'm gonna right. say it in a way that it. Jay and George can both understand, and anybody listens to us that plays poker understand. Kaepernick got max value. I will say this no, though. Negative. I will say this though. Negative, negative, negative. Negative. Yo, yo, negative, I will say negative. this though. Protesting against max value. He's, protesting against. If, if Hitler, hold on. If Hitler during a fucking, uh, you know, like 
a what? Jewish ceremony God, came out and wanted this. Hitler. No, 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 I'm no, trying no, to prove no, a I point. He compared if, Kaepernick if you're to Hitler. To, if you if you go during a Jewish I could ceremony, everybody by my Hitler theory. <laughs> but let me just say, yeah, let you me can just totally say. fucking sell the the ideology if you go about it a different way. But let me just listen, say this the, though. Let me the perfect the perfect statistic, right? Colin Kaepernick on Google, if you search his name before this whole thing started, had two and a half million results. Now it has forty three million. Mm. God damn. Yeah, but, but I will say this though. Not the but point. going against but his the message plan, is the him, point. Exposure is the point. Him sacrificing no, it's his not. career. <laughs> him sacrificing When you're trying to bring career, awareness to something, right. exposure is equal yeah, to not awareness. If it, not if it if not if it conjures up negative feeling towards yeah, that point. You're literally yeah. pl- you're literally playing hold on, if, trap. Yo, hold on, as hold far on, as when's the last time you convinced someone? If it brings negative um, emotions to that point. Yes. The only thing that you're saying is you think police brutality unpunished against black people is okay. But let me if just say that, that's a problem. But let that's me just say this though. That's like, not a stretch going at all. against quote unquote, it's not even that for Kaepernick, right? But going against the flag is not new though. You know what I mean? Granted, he didn't do that. It's not new. When I was younger, living yeah. in New York. I grew up as a Jehovah Witness. Yeah. I don't know if you know, as a Jehovah Witness, you're not supposed to put your hand. You're not supposed, you're to, not supposed to pledge allegiance. You're not yeah, supposed right. to pledge allegiance. I, I know that. When yes. I was in school, I got backlash. Teachers used to fucking pull my ear and be like, yo, why are you not putting your hand on your chest? I'm like, because my mom told me I'm not supposed to. Right. It's not, It's this is not new. You know what I'm saying? So for him. Into that, I, if he was talking during national anthem, I would exactly. be one of those all you're supposed to do, face. all you're supposed to do, and my mom said it was okay, is just stand up. Don't put your hand on your chest, but just show a little bit of respect. He still put his knee on the ground. He still knew, understood the flag. You know what right. I'm saying? But right. the kneeling was a sign of police brutality. As Jehovah Witnesses, we just don't do that. I, I, it just again, wasn't that. We keep going to the we point. We can't keep going. Like, I, I'm not disputing or arguing the fact that whether he was you know, his point is right, just, or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Right. All I'm saying is that his delivery, that's all I'm talking about. His, his delivery, delivery nil. could have been better. That's if, I, if I was a younger I living in New York and I, I knew that I the flag it would have been the you same exact You know, Obama, thing. Barack Obama, black president, mm. he was a great orator. He could speak. Everybody Amazing. knew that. Amazing. And he captivated, Smooth. He ca- yeah, captivated black people, Hispanic people, Indian people, white people, everybody, right? right. You can't tell me that there's not a way of to go about uh, a certain when you're sending out a message that you know can be sold to everybody. He was, but, I don't think that Kaepernick went about that. That's Ka- what I'm saying. If Obama wanted Obama to get police, bro- <laughs> but if if Obama wanted to use that platform Yo, to talk about did. police brutality, he would have done in, done it in that light though. If he really wanted to, and Kaepernick is a football player. He used the most opportunity where people stood up for the national That's, anthem to make it's, a point. It's not That's the, the most, most opportunity when yeah. people, when people, when he's getting backlash from a, a, but a large, but good, bad majority of people. Is still, Obama's getting a backlash in half the country. Hey, still good publicity. Hey, so hey, is Trump. Yeah. Hey, hey, Jesus was out here handing out miracles, right? He was getting backlash. <laughs> <laughs> He was giving bad, bad publicity. Is still Somebody's good publicity. always gonna say you're gonna do something different. Yeah, true, true, true. true. But I'm saying a, a large percentage of people. I'm not talking about a fringe population. Who where it's like, but there might be bro, a large percentage like, of all those people. If but you, when, if you if you really care about the cause, you'll stand in line. Exactly. Well, put you it, might make a change put it this for way. a small yeah. percentage of people. Let, let, let's say Kaepernick it influenced it and got across to sixty percent. That means forty percent of the country, which is huge. 40% of the country don't agree. Now, granted, you could say, hey, fuck them, because the majority says they do agree. Not they even the majority. They say that to Not us even every the majority. Fucking day. Here's the problem. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, here's the Black win from Kaepernick. Is it minority. doesn't even have fuck to be the majority. Them. It's not about it's, exposure. Hold on. It's the day before Kaepernick started kneeling and talking about police brutality, there were less people aware of it than there are now because of Kaepernick. So it's a win, no matter how you look at it. Maybe you're right. Maybe it could have been bigger. Maybe you're right. Maybe it could have been bigger and more people could be on his side, but there are more people that give a shit about police brutality. It did what it needed and I can, I can only guarantee that because I'm one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm can we go on to the stories? Can we talk about these stories real quick? I am to go home. Yo, <laughs> he got pussy I'm telling you guys right now that me personally, before the whole Kaepernick and kneeling situation, 
police brutality, uh, b- brutality and black people getting like unjust punishments, it was never a big deal to me. Like it was never, I didn't really hear about it. Now you, know? you keep like, it, now, you keep little, now, a, a now but that's I, just your hold personal on, ignorance. Stop. It's not my okay. Uh, it may have been, well, a lot but of again, is that that's way. what awareness yeah. is. Awareness is no, bringing no, 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 ignorance hold on. to light. So you're telling me that NWA, Public Enemy, they never had a say. And w- you're not. You're, you're talking not about listening to what I'm saying. You're not when talking about police brutality, it's been a thing since like the early nineties. It has been a thing, but he's not arguing. Even during the civil, even during the point, you could definitely reach a different demographic. Listen, yeah, I think you're missing the point, and I only say this because he's he's not saying that it was never a thing. Mm -hmm. He's saying, hey, this is happening, and not enough people know about it. And I actually know about it. True, I'm one person. Listen, here, bro, you're not. Hold on. It is true because for the if, if you say there's a thousand people that know about it, I'm talking about during my life experience. I'm bro, 39 you're, you're years old. Yeah, you're yeah. personalizing. You're talking about personal. I'm it talking about matter. an actual finite, or I'm sorry, um, like actual number, like number, dude. Statistics. Give me some numbers. One, th- or right, say hypothetically one. Well, no, 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 don't say hypothetical. Okay. You say numbers. All right, so let's use the number one. Let's use the number one. Okay, number one is I am one person, and I am one person that before Kaepernick started kneeling for the anthem and talking about police brutality, but could that go, not be personal bro, can ignorance? You let me finish though. It is personal ignorance. But what happens is Kaepernick talks about it. It's in the news. It's in the media. Now I look at myself and say, "Oh shit! Like, is this really going on?" I look it up and I say, "Damn." He's right. This is happening. I should talk about this, and I should have. Oh, we actually had this conversation. So that's one more person than it was before him. That's a win. Uh, we actually had this conversation. That's right? a win. If, 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 you put it simple. If, 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 if he turns podcast, anybody off, it's a positive. If, if yes, anybody, so hold on, hold on. Yes. Because he's not losing anybody that supports him. Exactly. If he loses somebody that supports him. Bro, because if you think police brutality, uh, okay. I'm gonna use bro, your shit. Hold on, I'm I have one person. Bro, hold on. He lost me that, at his delivery. delivery, bro. That that can only happen if you're racist. Because what? His, let oh, me explain. Say it. Say it. Bullshit. Say it. Say it. Yes. I love podcasts. <laughs> no, if you let me explain, it's gonna make sense. This. I promise. I love this. Because in order what? for Ka- <laughs> I'm trying to Go explain, ahead. bro. I stop interrupting. <laughs> if for Kaepernick to lose you, you have to initially say, hey. Police brutality against black people going unpunished is wrong. Mm-hmm. But now Kaepernick pisses you off and you say, you know what? Fuck you, Kaepernick. I'm okay with it now. Hey, I'm going to tell you from personal experience. Right? How, do you lose, life, how do you lose that? Hold on. How, do, how are you against it and now you you're just, okay you with it? You just said your point, but I'm going to tell, tell you mine. Over 39 years, I you know, I grew up on gangster rap. I knew about police brutality since but day what about fucking one. That didn't grow up but hold on, wait, brutality. hold on. I'm just, I'm just saying from my personal experience. Okay, right. You're talking from your personal experience. You're mm-hmm. saying how it was revelatory that he once he did this. Well, it's not revelatory to somebody like me. We're only ten years apart. So you knew about it already. Yes. Are you but what okay about okay, 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 but what about people that's who grew up on that, opera? Dude, that is the point. No, no, what about the people that? Point that hold on, hold on, hold on. But what about people that grew up on opera? People that grew up on country. We not everybody grew up on gangster rap who knew about this. Well, now he's reaching those people though. But, well, yes, you're who reaching that, people that, that doesn't know about who it. You're lose, assuming. Right? How can he lose but you're anybody? Assuming. I think, I think you're missing anybody from attacking support. on all angles, right? Yes, MWA. But so, how many people watch the Super Bowl? No, 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 no. So, so, Super Bowl, let me, Super let me make your point. The only though, time people stop attacking Jay. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I'm not attacking him. I just, just want to. I want to use his point. But how many people come together to watch the Super Bowl? It's fucking all nationalities. Whether you like yes. blacks, yep. that's the point I'm trying to make. This is finish that. That's that's the point I'm trying to make. You grew up on gangster rap, so NWA spoke to you in that language, and you and you resonated with that. But a kid that listened the country, like you said, that watches the NFL though. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't like, know. oh shit, this is actually happening? What? Wait, my, I have a black friend, Tyrone. <laughs> and don't say. I don't, and, 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 and then now you start that conversation with Tyrone. Like, damn, yo, bro, this, have yo. you dealt with that? And Tyrone's like, yeah, fucking Eric. <laughs> I've been trying to shit every day. Every shit. time I come no, to your shut house. Up. No shit, Chad. Can, can I say, can I say the Tommy? same? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> George? George? Can, can, can I bring up the same exact point, but in the opposite direction, saying, hey, there's some people that never knew about it, but they let's say they are vets, let's say they are, and they do get offended, and now they're totally turned off. They're like, fuck that guy. Yeah, I don't want to hear what that guy is saying. It's real. It's real. But yeah. now this yeah, now, but, but, but so this sparked them. the competition. No, no, it's not fuck that. No, 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 no. It's not yes, fuck them. Udi. I, no, I no, agree with Udi. No, no, no. I don't agree with Hold on, 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 hold on. It's not fuck them. This sparks a conversation. Yes. 
this sparks yes. a conversation. It's not fucked up. Right. Because fuck now it. they don't like it, they turned off. Okay, now like you have the newscasters, journalists, like bringing in a war veteran and bringing in a black person who faced injustice. Yeah. Let's have this conversation. Yes, Bro, yes. I'm it's not getting it. somebody's mind, man. Let's Yo, have I want to give you the emoji right now. Yes. <laughs> not, it's not a fuck. No, I'm not. Have this I, I want to be that I, black I bitch in the meme like I yes. this twice and you got, and you got hung up twice on this. Oh, question. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Damn, you got hung you up got twice. Hung up. And when's the last time somebody changed your mind on something yeah. that you was dead set against? Oh man. The average person I talk to you has it, principle you has not. Well, I'm, I'm gonna say a lot of the talking points that like so like stuff like this. The average person that I talk to has not researched, you know, enough to... Okay. to so, in that so aspect, it's, 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 not, it's very so, few so, and far between. Okay, very few and far between. So, 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 that's why I say fuck them. Yeah. Because if they wanted to know, they would find the information. Mm. They, they, even even the fact that some... Like, like when I hear a girl say to me... I'm trying to... Um, that when I hear a girl tell me about how she was raped. Yeah. Right? I can easily dismiss it because I'm a man. Right. I may not be a white man that has more power than me as far as like America, right? But it's fucked up to say, but black men come before women in general. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're talking about race in, in, in the divide, right? So I can easily dismiss her plight. But because I have a fucking sister, mm. I listen. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem there. They, those people that, oh, I don't like how we delivered it. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> but, but they're not hearing. <laughs> they're not hearing the plate. Right. Well, look, that should be well, that should so, be the overlooming thing. No, like, not oh my God, black people really feel this. Let way? me ask you. Like is I said, it, with my son's hand, like is that it takes precedence over, over everything. Over anything. At this point. Yeah, but isn't but everything totality, situational? Sure. So are you? Are, so would you agree then, or, or are you saying that at any time is the perfect time? To deliver a message. Well, depending saying, depending no. on the message. We're saying if the message if it, outweighs the delivery. On you the rather, that's the whole topic. Would you, would you rather him, would you rather him gather shitty. up people and start firebombing and going crazy? Would you rather... No, no, I, I'll protest? tell you. I would, <laughs> rather, I would rather him not do something like that in front of kids that look up, possibly look up to him and be patriotic, right? I'd rather him... That is patriotic. I'd rather him... Hold on, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. That is. Yes. No, no, no. But no, no. kids are yes. the next generation. They no, need no, no, to no. hear about this. They yes. need to I, I would, I would censoring something and it doesn't be censoring. No, wait. You asked me a question. I'm okay, just going to answer. Go ahead, bro. I, my bad. I, I would rather him... Fuck your answer. <laughs> I'd rather him target, you know, the police chiefs. Nah. No, whatever. Not the average American nah. who it, nah. Because, because person, who is he doing it for? Well, you can't. You can't. Muhammad you Ali was on, marching in can't. Africa you with can't, children. What Udi said because earlier. Children you, is the people that's going to Remember what Udi and you said earlier. Listen, you got a you got a problem with police brutality. You're contradicting nah. yourself you, right now. You contact the FOP, the Fraternal nope. Order Police. Nah, what do you mean no? You reach you reach them, but you just reach. It's no good to talk. How do you contact the police? Hold on, hold on. Because he's contradicting you right now, and you don't even realize it. He's contradicting himself. Because earlier, you guys both said very explicitly that when it comes to your own and your people, that you would lie to protect them. That you protect them exactly. before anybody else. So Say when again. you go to the police about that and you say, hey, your brothers are beating the shit and killing my people and not mm -hmm. being punished for it, the police, naturally, because they're taught to in such a noble way that you explained earlier, are going to say... Nothing we that's can do speculation. For you. No, that's no, speculation. speculation. There is no, more than there, there is data to prove that. No, come they, on. They, they even put that in that's, TV that's, shows. That's, that's what that's what you come said on, earlier. Come on, dude. I mean, listen, you can't. But you can't. You and can't that's that's base, my only problem. I mean, with police officers. that's that's my job. That's like saying no, absolutely <laughs> not. That, that's like saying, hey, look, I'm never going to bring up an issue to anybody about anything because there's a brotherhood you that's ever, going on. You ever understand the the fact that when they motherfuckers do like internal investigations, how do the fucking police investigate police? Oh, you. <laughs> They're a brotherhood. No, it's a blue wall. Listen, I have plenty uh, of. I have. Listen, no, I have listen. plenty listen of cop me. friends. I have plenty of cop friends. Even Udi it was it was very difficult for me to like pinpoint like hate cops or stand for my people. But I have cop friends and I understand. But at the end of the day, just like America in your own home, you're gonna protect your home. If somebody comes to your fucking partner and say, yo, your partner 
fucking brutalized me. You're gonna be like, you have nah, to I don't stand up for him because you gotta know that he'll shoot for you. Exactly, because exactly. he has to protect you too. No, I agree with that's you. That's the same way. But I have cut said, friends, and I understand that. But it's it is what it that's is. That's the same thing not, earlier when I said but, about my cousin. Right. Like, I have to. I, I can't check my cousin in front of you. Word. Because but in private, I need to know that when when shit goes down, he has my fucking exactly. back. Exactly. But in private, I'm in in fucking the locker room. But like, yo, bro, did you really fuck with that kid? Like. You know what I'm saying? Well, That's I'll, when you do it. Right. But no matter what, in front but of that person. But not everybody has that integrity. You're nobody. thinking about you, you're let, thinking let, about stuff from what you would do. No, 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 how, no, no. no. How you hey, look, I'm gonna it. put it on street level. Let me retort really fast. <laughs> yes. Let's let's talk about street let's talk. People don't know what retort means. <laughs> let, let's talk about let's talk about uh, the bulldog ratting out fucking um, John Gotti. Now that's street shit. I mean, yeah, like, okay. so six nine. What, what what I'm saying is that like. I, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, like, I get it. There's a brotherhood that you need to do X, Y, and Z. No matter what. That you need to, yeah, exactly. So so I but, but the reality is it doesn't always fucking go that way. Look at, look at the bulldog. He ratted on fucking John Gotti. Now, you're talking about somebody that's very powerful, very rich, very fucking, you know, like, and if he's getting ratted on, yeah, from what you got to believe. From what I understand is you're from the hood, right? Well, from I wouldn't what? say that, hey, but <laughs> not the real hood, like the no, New Jersey. Uh, all right, hood. yeah, but Jersey is fucking. No, Jersey's Jersey. hood is fine. Yeah, I got fucking. people in Passaic. Right. I got You're no putting Jersey. Too much trust in this shit. So, like, what are the reasons why we have why we have gu- our gun laws the way they are? The forefathers, our forefathers, kind of like your kind of like people's forefathers, is because they don't they didn't, they know that they shouldn't trust the government that way, right? right. You know, they're trying to take away AR-15 and shit. And the Fuck th- that! Yeah, so, so, <laughs> so well, part we of the reason to was to, last week. part yeah. of the reason was to protect your test. land, to protect your land, and the other reason why they have the same guns as the military has is, is to protect us from the government oh, yes, in case sir. they get out of control. Yes. yes sir. And, mm-hmm. and you can agree to that, can you not? I, absolutely, hundred percent. So why the yeah, fuck do you, you agree? So why can't so why can't you agree that some cops are fucking bad? Mm-hmm. Oh no, I can definitely, I can, I, I'll totally say that all day. And so why, so why can't be you believe before he took it? So, <laughs> oh my god! So why can't you believe that some Shout some cops Jada. protect Jada. other cops? Oh no, I I would never ever that's dispute that. That's all we're saying, and you but just that, said that. No, not really. hold on. But that's not absolute. Yeah, he didn't. What he I'm saying, what I'm saying is that if Sammy the Bull fucking rats on fucking John Gotti knowing his life is on the line and I'd rather be in a police department ratting on a fucking another police police officer than be in Sammy the Bull's situation ratting on John Gotti I'd rather be in the police <laughs> but there might be something bigger than that though fuck it he, he, at that point he's like yo fuck my life what what do they have on me like, but what, what if everybody's so, like you too it's, because it's, you wouldn't rat on another cop right well, it depends. Why? I have fucking principles, man. <laughs> you're not going to write. If you are a cop, you're not writing on another cop. If they shot my that's fucking your daughter, he's going down. That, <laughs> what if he that's shot what I'm saying. There's a difference. What do they have on you? <laughs> it, it what if he shot at some random black dude that you didn't know? Would you write on him? Like, come on, man. You're giving like... like <laughs> Beautiful. It sounds well, silly, on, but yo. that's no, that's no, a lot of the no, times that's no, what no, it is. What, what's silly partner, is that you're putting like a situation in a vacuum. Like, dude, you can't fuck it. Okay. Like to say to say somebody, hey, if somebody pointed a gun at you, what would you do? Well, you don't know until somebody points a fucking gun at you. True. True, true. But, so right, like so I said earlier, it? you don't know whether or not you would take the plea and go home unless you were sitting at Rikers. All right, what's your worst? I go down. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Like, I'm sucking I'm dick for, for the rest of my life. I don't give a shit. Let's talk about the police brutality <laughs> stories. Can we talk about that? Let's move on. Let's yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. By the, by the numbers, go, more white people get shot by fucking police officers. And there's more fucking white sex offenders. That's right. That's right. It is what it is. That's absolutely 100 That's Yeah, because there's more of you, but... <laughs> because because there's more of you, but but the but in concentrated. All situation. police officers are not white. No, I know. Oh, no, for sure. But that's because that's why that's why I brought are. up there being the blue wall. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, but just say it. <laughs> you're not black anymore once you become a George, police officer. You're, yeah, you're, 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 you're a cop. Hey, you're blue. You're hey, blue. Oh, you're so blue. you go. You guys bring up a great point. You're a not lot, black a anymore. lot of you're the black blue, community, bro. you know, fucking shun some other. African Americans yeah, because yeah, hey, you know what? Because at the you're end of the day, of the you're culture. gonna protect, you're gonna protect the blue before you protect the black. When, when so, you're blue now. When somebody in the black community says you're not, you're not, you don't represent the culture. What does that mean? You're blue now. You're a cop. So are you talking about ex- exclusively about being a cop? No, no, no. I'm, oh, I'm saying okay. just in general. A lot of people said about Barack Obama. So, so, you know what? 
He do, he's too white. He doesn't represent. So I think that was. So I don't. Like, that. So, so that's work. one of the reasons why he's I did shit Tom. for him right there. Like that, right? Saying, Uncle Tom. Right? Yeah. Uncle Tom. Um, so okay. there's actually this police officer. I think he's like a sheriff that talks so crazy about black people. I forgot his name, and I wish I had knew it off the top of my head, huh? Al Sharpton. He's also nah, he no, he's also like fucking like Boondocks, him. Uncle Rocky <laughs> shit. Tired of him, yo. And like to me, he's not about the culture, tired of him. right? Because there's evidence that supports there's evidence to support the racial injustice and all this, and he's still like, nah, fuck that. If you work hard and you do da da, like no, there is legit lo- logistics and evidence and no, if you want to get statistics and... about this, and you're just like, fuck that. I Whoa. I'm accepted by these there's... by white people. In general, and I'm gonna ride for this. Like, dude, you can't. Like, if you're being like 100% honest with yourself, they don't give a fuck about you, right? And it's better to have the support of your own people. With me personally, I like I said before earlier, I get shit for it. I like to keep my people accountable. Absolutely. Like, that's I know what the fuck I was doing. That's, in the that's a good way to. But that's admirable. That's noble. I know what the fuck I do in the streets. That's, 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 that's the reason why I don't fuck with the police, right? Is because of how, one how they were started. So the police started by rounding They're up. hypocritical. No, no, how they were started. Police basically stem from... Those police officers are derivative from people that used to catch slaves. Rounding up slaves, right? Yes. Yeah. So that, that's one. The tactics that they use for people of my color are atrocious. But Two, also, the, the, also police... But do are, you know that African Americans were hired also to catch runaway slaves? Yes, I do know. I do know. Yeah, okay. Yes, so, 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 and that, but that's because that was the that's best case scenario for them. Slave and they didn't stand in that fucking principle. And that's why you, so, and you're a house so, nigger, it's so, a better to so be a fucking field nigger. Let me get this last point out. Let me get this last No, but it's better to be a house nigger than to be a house No, 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 we're not even trying to have that on our show. I said, yo, I said you last week, you can't be saying house nigger on the show. It's what it is. Let him finish, let him finish. They're completely reactionary. Yeah, like you have, you have like I get robbed. You come look at the scene and try to find the person. Like no, give me my fucking gun. If they're robbing me, I'm killing them. You come clear up the fucking body. Yeah, like that's oh, yeah. how that that's my policing. If you guys ever seen that movie Bright, with Will Smith, or yeah, 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 and that ogre, right? And that yes, ogre. yes, perfect bro. representation. No perfect. matter what, yo, that, that you're movie. A, he's not an ogre no more. He's a fucking cop. That that that's movie your right there, yo, that's that a perfect representation. That movie. It, yo, you couldn't have said it better. What, that's what it's the a movie was perfect before. representation <laughs> about exactly. about like a. It talked about racism in America, yes, and it talked about the fucking police brotherhood, dude. Exactly. Like that. It didn't talk about anything else. That's, but that I mean, was we, an we, ogre, we can that safely was a cop. we can safely say that in in a lot of career lines, right, too, there's a brotherhood. Hmm. Whether you're, yeah, you're in the hell yeah, bro. police force, like, if you're, you're in, in the military, accounting, you got that fucking, fucking backbone. Yeah, that's why most police, are, uh, most like military all the elite people, like, people like, they scratch each other's backs and look at. I had a conversation and... with his boy one time, and I, I could oh, the only thing I could think about because he's in the military was yo, he's fucking brainwashed. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah homie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And yeah. don't get me wrong, I, I felt oh, so good. bad, and I was like, dude, like you keep, like I felt really bad. I talk to my buddy sometimes, and he's a marine, and I'm like, damn. Like no, it's not, I, and it's I respect not Angel, it. Is it. I respect it. I'm not gonna say any names. Oh, but, right. <laughs> I was you know saying, saying I'm not an Angel from school. He's a Marine. All right, well, if, we, if we were to say it's the it's the brothers, you know what I mean? And those are those brothers, like those brothers, those brothers. And I, I just said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, what a fucking solid Marine American family, man. Love I respect What's crazy love them. is there? I'm love saying them. I'm saying those they're a solid bros. Marine American family, just good people, but they're actually Puerto Rican. Yeah. And they're no, but, no, great no, American, American Marine family. No, I respect, I respect them. them. I, love no, them. I don't want I them to think that I don't. Yeah. But I love Angels. Two well, things can Angel's be true. Really the only one I Are they brainwashed? Yeah. Fuck yes. But th- and this is why I'm, I'm going to say. <laughs> are they good like, American people? I love yes. them. Every time they come here, I chill with them. Those are my bros. Like yeah. straight up. Yep. And everything they say, I understand. But there's times where like, you know, we're having a conversation, right? And we're, you know, there's that battle, that back and forth. Oh, okay, I can understand. I can Nah, bro. If I'm talking to Angel, I'm talking to Rodney, and it's like, yo, nah, but this and that. He's like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> it's like, no, this is they, this. They and I'm like, like no, just, but no, but like, literally, like, see where yeah, I'm coming from. They're yeah, like, no. No. Yeah, because they have, a, that. And they have like, a very definite and, and, and absolute he's way from about being brainwashed. of that. Yeah. They have a very definite and absolute way of life that, yeah. I don't know if it's, it, I can't say it's wrong or right because it's their reality. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it, it, no, yeah, nothing they're Marines. Is, it is, it's, it's what they learn. Mm. He's going home. <laughs> He's Cut the podcast. But let's oh, go on to the police brutality. It's a funny story. So let's, let's, let's move on. All right, let's so go. we've been going a while. Awesome let's, let's topic, though. This, this was yeah, amazing. Couple things. Right, so, yeah, it's good dialogue. We just yeah, great to, dialogue. To, oh, my God. I appreciate you guys. Amazing.
Let me just say that if you heard the word house nigga on the show was Freddie <laughs> and he's black, it wasn't me. I'm I didn't like, say it. Little, I, I didn't say it was Freddie. That was, was, Freddy. Josh. That was <laughs> both the house niggas. We both the house niggas. Keywords, no, SEO. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm like, should I have my daddy's white? Yeah. My daddy's white. Yeah. 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 They're trying to figure out who'd be house I'm too, niggas I'm right too, now. I'm too fat to be in the field. I'm not. You'd be dead by the end. I'd be the bed. If I was a slave, I'd be the bakery nigga. No, oh, no so be- oh, all right. So before we go, we're gonna wrap this up, guys. We had a lot of fun. Oh man! I just wanted to one more time take it back to Freddie and Uwe, man, the two stupid dogs. Yeah, gang, guys, gang, gang, um, gang, 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 yo, gang, gang, yeah, and that's. <laughs> <laughs> Gang, gang, so, gang, <laughs> gang, 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 the buttercream gang. The buttercream. So the buttercream. before we go, let, sure, just let, every, blouses. Yo, let, <laughs> let everybody know like where we can find you, man, like how they can hear your podcast, all the mm. good shit, plug everything you want right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, unfortunately, Shout we didn't out to get BET. to do everything we wanted to talk about. Shout out to BET. This conversation got idiot. crazy, yeah. but I appreciate the dog dialogue. I appreciate you guys, man. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, man, Thank two you. stupid Thank dogs. You. Yeah, absolutely. On IG, two stupid dogs, and it's two, the number two stupid dogs, D-A-W-G-S podcast, and Freddie J-B-P-H-R-E-D-D-Y-J-B. Um, Let's and go. We're, we're working, and I, I'm so glad to call you guys our brothers and mm-hmm. our podcast fam, like, on some real, like, you guys are moving. I appreciate the content you guys bring, because there's some shit we don't know about, and we yes. listen, and we're like, yo, you know what, that's crazy. And regardless of the fact of, and how we had this conversation... I'm glad we can have a civilized conversation. Nothing but respect. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, it's right. all respect. respect. Regardless Always. of the fact, even, there's going to be differences, but I respect that there's no hostility, and we can just try to elaborate mm-hmm. and we try to do that thing. So, yo, J2, yo, thanks for Appreciate having me. Appreciate you. So just so you guys know, it's J squared. I know, but I see the two. I know, but J two, J two, J two. It's all good. It says J. I know. I see the two. I don't fuck number two. We're gonna evolve to J two. I said that earlier. I'm sorry. And literally thirty two credits to CCRI. Leave the fuck alone. You you should know better. All right, Udi, what you got? We gonna say something? Where can we find you? No, man. Oh, this two super dogs podcast. We're on all wherever you can find podcasts at. Basically, um. Ocean Boy Savage on social media or whatever. Um, yeah, we're just lucky to be here, man. And we're glad that... Yes, you are. Yeah. <laughs> let's do it again. Let's, yeah. let's definitely do it again, man. This is fun. Seriously. Um, and I, we need one of him around. Because yeah. our engineer is just... He <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't play out boy like that. He actually left the information. Yeah, he did, though. He did. Yo, when he was looking up shit on the side and hitting us, I was like, damn. Our engineer, Yo, I, I, don't do this. Our engineer press play and it goes to sleep. Yo, before, before we go, though, I do just want to say nah, thank that's you. That's my brother, though. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming. And um, like like they said, man, Instagram, I everywhere, but also right. on YouTube. You know, you guys are getting with the video yes, now. Yes, They hooked us up with the video. Merch that, coming when, soon, too. When we were on merch coming soon. Yeah, thank you for the cuffs. Keep so on that note. Yo, I can't wait to not drink out of this. But, guys. Jay and I can attest to that, man. This is from China, and you guys are so American. <laughs> Those are not from China. Wait. Are they American made? Come on. They're from Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> what did you see on the bottom? Aristocrat. They're from Aristocrat. <laughs> All right. Okay, so okay. check out the two, two, two Stupid Dogs podcast. Hey, Jay squared. I'm sorry, and brother. Yeah, fun, Jay, obviously. George, yeah. thank you. Hey, Deuce. George. Deuce. Ladies. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for listening. We had a lot of fucking fun with the two stupid dogs. Um, <laughs> again, <laughs> again, this episode of the podcast was brought to you first and foremost by Division, first and foremost, oh, hey. by Division Street Auto. Holla at them, 595 Division Street in Pawtucket, whatever you need on the vehicle. Um, tire rods, transmissions, gas. If you need gas, they got you too. <laughs> Hope you don't mind me saying that, George. Um, Onlyville Tires in Providence, Rhode Island. They've been around for years. Go holler at them. New tires, used tires. Yeah, yes. Screws in the tires. You want to screw on tires? Do whatever you want to do. Screw on tires? <laughs> <laughs> J&W Constructions. They hook you up with some new cabinets, new ceilings, new floors. Holler at them. Find them on Facebook. You can catch them on our page too. We'll check them out there. We got Tops Electrical Distribution and Showroom and lighting whatever you need indoor outdoor lighting fucking um electrical connectors uh compressors they got you covered probably wire too hit them up don't ask me donkey dodgers fucking poker where i met a lot of my friends if you're interested in poker but not that great you want to get started 
Go check them out every night, every week. Freddy's interested. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually hook you up with them. But um, every single night, you know, it's only 20 bucks. You get a free meal. You can go out there, drink, have fun. It's nice people. Nobody takes it too serious, you know, but you can get some good poker experience there. And I'm missing one thing. Who am I missing? I got Tops. Two I got stupid George. I got the two stupid dogs. I got Dory. JW. Them all. I got JW. What am I doing? Onlyville. Yeah. Onlyville got, got him. Or do we only have four? Donkey Dodgers. Got him. Right, Baby, we got them all. That's yeah, it, guys. Good night. We had a lot of fun, man. Have a good night. Peace, love, and chicken grease. <laughs>